Hi. <laughs> Welcome everybody to another chit chaff here on Loading Ready Run, where uh, today I got sick of it and uh, decided that I uh, needed to sort through. I, I and help needed to sort through um, the magic, the years worth of magic uh, collection that I have. Um, the single years worth of magic no, that God, this represents uh, that I've accumulated. Uh, and so, yeah, it's a chit chat this evening. We're going to be going through all, well, some amount of this. Uh, I'm Graham. Uh, with me this evening is Nelson. Hey, I'm also here. And Wheeler. <laughs> and Paul is over here on tech. Hello. And uh, yeah, is this also Kathleen's or is she going to be another episode? Some of Kathleen, some of the stuff in here is Kathleen's, but she's like, I don't know, you figure it out. Um, she doesn't have a huge amount of stuff of, of her own. Um, not pictured is there's a there's a few PPR kits here, but most of or like pre-release kits, but most of the pre-release kits uh, from PPRs are still in the closet because I physically couldn't carry any more. Also, I don't know where my trade binder went. It's full of rares from like ten years ago. That, so yeah, yeah. When you when you separate out all your good cards and then lose that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, before we get into it, um, this is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Check out cardkingdom.com slash LRR. A great place to sell your magic cards, as I will probably be doing uh, when we're done here. Uh, and you can also pre-order some stuff like Lord of the Rings. And uh, tell them we sent you. Ask for a button. Ask politely for a button. They'll give you a little button. It'll say a funny thing. I don't know exactly which one they have, because we sent a new batch down. And I don't know which one they're leading with. Um, also, uh, this show and everything we do is brought to you by you. And your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun or by subscribing here on Twitch or by giving us super thanks uh, on YouTube if you are so inclined. Also, uh, a reminder that upcoming on June 10th, we have the pre-pre-release for Magic the Gathering Universes Beyond the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-Earth, a Richard Garfield game. Universes Sa beyond Lord of the Rings. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Saturday, June 10th, uh, Lord of the Rings sealed gameplay featuring special guests Power Dragon, Zebex, and Chase Carroll, a.k.a. Mana Curves. Very excited to have those three joining us for some traipsing across Middle Earth, all the way from here to Mount Doom and back again. <laughs> Get your Fitbit out, because we walk in. <laughs> so uh, Okay, here's in, the thing In his heart, we are still playing Street Fighter 6 <laughs> I'm sorry to pull you away from playing Street Fighter No, that's fine If you want to hurl some magic cards at me, I can try to dodge them <laughs> Uppercut, uppercut Sandblast! <laughs> Sandblast! So, uh, yeah, here's the thing Is that I've been collecting magic cards D Collecting is the wrong word for it I've been accumulating magic cards For many years mass orcs in. And yeah. never really gone through it um, Those big secret lair boxes Have like, those have like <laughs> Cards that I think are like nicer For like putting together commander decks and stuff I'm, look, I'm that kind of Guy and I I'm, I'm the secret lair patsy And I buy a bunch of secret lairs But the problem is, recently, you know over the certainly over the course of the pandemic and then what I was dealing with last year, um, I just was like, I'd order it and then I go, oh, great, good. And I put it in the closet. And it's like, if I ever want to build a commander deck out of something, it's like, uh, oh, I have that card. Uh, was that card in special guest Fiona Staples? Or was it in Totally Utterly Lost? Or, or, or was, it, was it in... You know, other uh, pictures of the floating world. Which of these, right? It's like, which of these things is it in? So I've got a, I've got a ton of perfect fits. I just got those from YJ. So I want, I'm, I'm going to sleeve my secret layers. Um, but then there's other decks here that's just like, there are deck boxes here that's like a thing from a GP and maybe some cards that I pulled out of a pre-release or that, that I just sort of slammed them in an available box. I don't know what's in a lot of this. So, but Graham, do you know what you have in mind for after the cards are sorted? Right. Okay. Uh, really, I just play limited in commander. So I want to keep cards that uh, would be potentially good in a commander deck. 
Uh, bearing in mind, as I said before the stream, that I have a uh, an unusual floor of what I consider good in Commander, because I like to be <laughs> silly. There's a lot. That means a lot. I know. It turns out actually almost every card in Magic is legal in Commander. Mm -hmm. So that's a problem. Um, but I am cool with... Uh, Getting rid of a bunch of stuff, including like if it's just if it's just chaff that nobody wants, we can get rid of it. And if it's worth uh, shipping to Card Kingdom, then I'll ship it to Card Kingdom. So, okay, I guess yeah. Gentlemen, start your engines. All right, I'll start sort of thing. Up these. Okay, great. That's not on. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> worth noting. Usually Wheeler. we look through the cards first, Wheeler. <laughs> Uh, I, I got a sixth sense for this kind of thing. Wheeler had, in fact, looked through that box. Did you say a sixth sense? Just before we started. Now, uh... So I have the I have the fibble fip. Uh, oh, yeah, right. We do have a setup here uh, to show the cards. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> the area where we're supposed to show the cards is occupied currently. We'll Graham, get there eventually. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> were you a corrupt judge in another life? Because you have nine copies of pre-release Tromocratus. Uh, yeah, they. I can't remember how I came into those. Uh, not a corrupt judge, but definitely like. Uh, oh God, just, just acquaintances with lots of corrupt. Judges. There's a pack. No, there's nice. a pack of like uh, promo hoardling outburst around here somewhere too, and I don't recall why. But it was just sort of like someone was like, "Here, have these," and I was like, "Wait, aren't these like the kind of things that?" Go the thing is, like, re remember that. Um, that uh, I've had friends who work at Wizards over the years and don't work at Wizards anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because they stole so many freaking promo <laughs> Oh! Uh, what's What deck is that? This is a Crimson Vow PPR deck. It, it must be, because that's, I was, these, so these, these, these lands, the Ravnica Guild Kit lands, this used to be my, like, um... Uh, just like my draft kit mm -hmm. that I'd have like a bunch of pre-sleeved lands and I don't know didn't know where the forests and swamps went so there I guess go. they're in I guess they're there now we know what do you uh uh-huh uh, so <laughs> commander yeah what's up what do you want to do in Commander? Oh man, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, you do. You just want to make bears. <laughs> or tree folk. But or I you, you can help us out at home here. What does Graham want to do in Commander? I have, you know, I should say, I don't actually have um, the either, like, I don't actually have my own copy of either of the bear decks, like, together. Okay. Um, you should say that louder while looking at the camera. <laughs> I don't have either of those decks. All the cards were like provided by Card Kingdom. Um, so you need some bears. Yeah, so I'm, I, ha I have an Ayula in here somewhere. Maybe she'll show up. Um, these boxes are nice. I, I'm glad, I mean, I do like, hang on. Here we go. I'm glad that they went through from this huh. for five cards. <laughs> yeah. To this, these these were nice. This is even better, frankly. If it's only five cards, this is so much less waste, and I'm really glad about that. But these are really nice boxes, and I don't know what to use them for. Um, but right now, I'm going to put them in a pile, I guess. Women's watches. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Could do. Yeah, these can just. The, I guess the this part can just be recycled. So, fine. I'll just make two piles. What was it that? Giant, those giant boxes that had five cards in them. Was it just like five cards and then a big thing of like foam to? Uh, no, it was like oh, a. It empty. was like a piece yeah. of paper or like a square thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, Nelson's looking through one of the old, uh, as they were known at the time, fat pack boxes mm -hmm. that I think I scrawled on the end in Sharpie. Foreign cards. Yeah, maybe. Oh no, the the other one says foreign cards. I threw this lid on the floor, but there are a lot of foreign cards in this one. Mostly yeah, went Russian big... and uh, Japanese. Yeah, so I went far. through a big period of buying um, buying the Russian cards when YJ had them because oh, yeah. I liked how a lot of cards looked in Cyrillic. Me too. <laughs> Especially the uh, the Orzhov cards; those ones looked really cool in Cyrillic. It's like it's just it's foreign cards and cards that have funny sounding names. Yeah. 
Nice. <laughs> so what's what's that one? Is that just sleeves? This is just sleeves. Oh, hey, look at that. There you Perfect. go. Well, oh. yeah, just sleeves. This is something you got at a GP. Yeah, that, that makes somewhere. sense. Okay, cool. Well, hey, that that's that's easier cool. then. For an original Ravnica, you didn't buy that at Yellow Jacket. Now, are we going to find... Oh, that was... I remember that one, actually. That was... Was this GP Calgary? This was a, There was a sealed event on Sunday yeah. at a GP that was like Pan Ravnica Japanese sealed. Nice. And so everyone was like frantically Ooh, looking them up pretty. on their phones. And I went like... Oh, I, re no, I, I remember did very that well event now, event. too. Yeah. yeah, I remember like playing in a regular side event and then passing you at the table when you were doing this. And it was like, okay... Good. <laughs> yep. I'm. Good luck with that. What's that? It's a box of. Oh, that's one of the boxes of like. This is PPRs from 2020. Right. Yeah. Cards that I were like, or uh, cards that I was like, this will come in handy for something. Now, are we gonna find a bunch of uh, like the. Sets of commander sleeves that have gone missing from the office at various times. I really hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. I don't think so. I don't. Uh, I don't think I would have walked off with those. Um, does anybody want a uh, one of those uh, you know, secret layer extra bonus cards when it, when they were just doing the stained glass planeswalkers? I've got a very Pringled Sarkan here. Ooh. Pringled Sarkan. Pringled mm. Sarkan. So far, I've yeah. It's what is it, the Fiona Staples, the uh, the Windows ninety five um, uh, snow covered lands. When you leave Sarkhan in the bath for too long, he gets all he gets, he gets all, all pringly. Gets all pringly. <laughs> True. <laughs> He's got Pringle hands. So, uh, so in those boxes, if there's anything that you're like, holy sh holy crap, this is this is worth selling. <clears throat> Feel free to pull that aside. Uh, and if there's anything that's like, wow, this is dog balls, you can, I mean, we there's... can chuck that too. But mostly I'm under the assumption that the stuff that I've put aside in those boxes is like, yeah, these are all right. There's a certain quality among Magic players that started before Amon Ket, where they will keep every foil mm -hmm. common and uncommon, no I... matter how just terrible and cheap they are. I have, harsh misprint. I have stopped doing that. What are we what are we checking out? Those those ones are just the first the top four are misprinted. Misprinted in what Ooh. way? They're just really faded. Oh like weird. The, yeah, the ink the... is not like there. Is that, it's not really coming across. It's not really gonna yeah. show uh, up. I have stopped doing that, but I'll tell you <sighs> We're probably going to find some the, big runs of just random foils. Yeah, I, I already here. passed. There's a there's a chunk of like junk foils in here. Yeah, there's a utopia sprawl. I am oh, I am no longer. And uh, I can death. I am yes. certainly no longer wedded to keeping <laughs> junk foils. Yeah, foils used to be a lot more unique than they are now. Yeah, more rare. Like every pack has a foil in it now, right? Uh, certainly pretty, every set booster. Pretty oh, much. Yeah. Jesus. What? Oh, I can sleeve those if you like. Well, I don't know what any of these are. Do you mind? If, do you oh, want go to? for it. No, go for it. Yeah, this is oh, the uh, yeah, right here if you want. This is the um, thirty. This as a product again, I love. This was the thirtieth anniversary countdown kit. What a fun idea, right? Everything is in a little booster with the year on it, and it's one card for every every year of magic. That was a that 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 was very was cool. a very fun. 30th anniversary uh, celebration. Yeah, which it hadn't sold out that the first was. 15 seconds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Did they do anything else? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oof. Not that they'll acknowledge. Drive and drive. <laughs> Nothing of note, says Dog of Myth. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, I don't know what those... Uh, I don't know if... I mean, I, there's the Chrome Mox, but I don't know if there's anything else in there that's like... Uh, of particular value. Mishra's factory. The funny part was uh, that uh, people were sort of like hoping for non foils because, <laughs> of course, the foils were all were all bendy. Oh, is this? Is there? Oh. Well, it was random. That's the thing. You oh. didn't know which ones you were gonna get, right? I Ooh. love the Necropotence. Sir, did you watch the stream? Do you need one? Ooh, uh, Japanese. Fo Japanese hover mirror. 
Yeah, that box, as you can see, the one that Nelly's looking at right now, you can see that that was just like... They still have all the tokens and everything. It's just like foreign packs that were just opened and looked at. Like I went, oh, nice, and then put them in the box. I own this card now. Yeah. Uh, Someday. Oh, if, uh, if there's tokens, definitely pull those out. I can just yep. donate those to the to the, to the the moon base, and it's, it's uh, endless lust for tokens. <laughs> Our endless token black hole where exactly. we where we seem to accumulate lots and lots of tokens and yet never have the tokens we want yeah we we're really good tokens, at having yeah. massive boxes of the tokens that we don't need right now the, so, uh, I gotta say the secret lair that we got from um, Magicon uh, oh yeah these are very cool. <sighs> that sage yeah <laughs> wow that's so many card boxes sure is it's a few yeah Although I think this, I feel like this would be like maybe one or two, like four column boxes. This actually, yeah, it's not that bad. Putting them in the each little teeny individual boxes makes it look yeah. Like bigger. Yeah, that's most of where my sighing comes from. I know is that it's. Be I've never dealt with it. This is the thing. I've just never. I've accumulated cards and I've never taken the time to deal with the cards. Yeah. So. Yeah. I feel like Gordon Ramsay on like Kitchen Nightmares, looking in <laughs> like the freezer. Yeah, being like, "Oh Jesus Christ, you, you live like this." <sighs> yeah. When did this last get cleaned? Does anybody want like a whole ton of random foil slivers that for some reason they've started putting in every secret layer? Uh, Card Kingdom does. Yeah, I think Card Kingdom. Do they really? Forward slash LR are probably good. Wants to buy this off you. Yeah. Look at this. Look at the state of this ward sliver. That's one of the worst I've seen. You got any dip? <laughs> this is great for soft yum, serve. Yum. The pro and the oh, problem is that I forgot I had these. The problem is when it happens to one of your slivers, yeah. all of the slivers have to do it. That's right. It's infectious. Oh, right. Yeah. All, all slivers now have are horribly bent. <laughs> oh, I see. That was the joke. This right, chrome right, box right. is very pretty. Ooh, yes. Probably worth something. That is a chrome. chrome I think box. that's the highest uh, ticket item in the countdown kit. That's the one. The only card I know that's in this... Oh, I know there's a kind of a goofy-looking Siege Rhino. Um, <clears throat> the Elspeth. There's mm, an Elspeth oh, okay. that looks real nice. Oh, is it the like old-school-style Elspeth? Yes. I think it has Rebecca Gay art. Yeah. I agree, Space Carl. The fact that the basic land secret layers only have one of each land is still a large matter of complaint for me. Yeah, that, that Chrome Box is like 75 bucks. <coughs> yep. That's not bad. Oh, all right. Go. Sweet. Yep. It's like that. You know, I don't think I need a Chrome Box as badly as I could use 75 bucks, so... No, fo actually, Foil is like 100. Oh, damn. All right, set that one aside. <laughs> we'll fire that one along. You want to break the set? Uh, yeah. That's what we're here to do. What? You're an interesting man, Graham Stark. You have some interesting priorities when it comes to collecting. Do you, I told you, it's not a collecting, it's accumulating. Do you, like, I don't know, what would you, would you recommend keeping them together for, for value purposes? I think you either keep them together or you sell them as a whole. Uh, okay. I mean, are you still keeping them together in that case? Yeah, I, yes. <laughs> like, there's, it's probably, you could probably get rid of some of the stuff that, you know, you might have a harder time selling if you just sell it as a group. Just say I have this whole set. Right. Here are the ones that are foil. I don't know where to sell them to, though. What about cardgame.com forward slash LRR? Well, I don't know if you can do full sets like that. Oh, I see. No, that yeah, that's okay. not going to... Um... How about the Vic Magic forums? I don't even know where that is. <laughs> or what that is. That was just a little in-joke with Wheeler. Sorry, okay. everyone. This is what we had before Facebook. Ooh, sun type. You know, three social media platforms ago. Too, Ooh, too like radiant. What? Gross Wait, is that his hair? Uh, some of it. So it just looks like he's got just this. Just right. the, I got, I got one got of these like for this you. Oh no, it's gone like, forever now. Of hair. He like, does have like a, a lot of hair. Token. Oh yeah, yeah, right. And a lot is. of Helios. This is one of the plus minus tokens from uh, um, Commander's Arsenal, which I have. Okay. Uh, a couple actually sealed Commander's Arsenals to 
I don't know. They haven't moved in terms of value in a few years, so maybe it's time to ship them. They go for like 300 bucks yeah. or something. I love that that guy, he's got like the, a massive like quaffed pompadour. So I got a Valorous stance, and I got some more nice tr tromp. trash Just from Cons of Tarkir. Cons. Yeah, opened a lot of cons. Uh, that was a uh, that was a successful uh, pre-release event over in nice. the hotel. Nice. When YJ was uh, running the events over in that hotel. The plus, good old days. plus <laughs> he's a titan, so that guy's hair is like eight feet high. Oh yeah. Sorry, we have to replace it with this weird rhino. Oh, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Siege Rhino is very cool. I want some of what that Siege Rhino has been smoking. I want to oh, cover that Rhino. Here's a, this, look, this striking sliver is nice and square. Mm. So that's cool. Yeah, are these, to, like, honestly, are these random secret lair slivers actually, like... They're Some of them are pretty crazy. I mean, okay, yeah, cool. you only get right. them from a secret lair, so, like, they, they should... Should all be foil like a dollar. Slivers. Yeah, exactly. They should all be like fair enough. An amount of money. You've got me there. All right. A dealer will pay something for yeah. it. Sliver kid grew up somewhere. Yeah. Maybe he's still At into slivers. Striking sliver is like fifty bucks. There you go. What? What? Yeah. Well, that's a good one too. Oh yeah. It's like the one. That's one of the newer ones. Isn't okay. It? Cool. There you go. All right. Sweet. What is this? Stimulus package, Stri mass bandits. Oh, okay. I've got some like. Oh, Ginny Fay. Oh, look at that. Striking Sliver supports Sliver unions. Hell nice. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Hell yeah. And, there, and therefore, all Slivers are now part of the. Unlike Essence Sliver that crossed the Sliver picket line. <laughs> mm, how dare. <laughs> okay. What the hell? Oh, this is also a secret lair. Oh, this is a Tree Folk deck. No. Nope. Well, it what? It's the beginning of a tree folk deck. It's part of the tree folk deck. If there's some tree folk, and then it turns into like I don't know, man. Like there's cards that yeah, people like. Did you buy someone else's collection? <laughs> no. Okay, uh, it was like a Orzov pile of stuff next to a mono green deck. Yeah, there, um, there, I did have for a while. I mean, I guess I still have it, broadly speaking, an Orzov tokens commander deck. Okay, so maybe that's. Overflow. This from might it? be the graveyard from multiple commander decks. Yeah. Okay. I mean, in, it's worthwhile to point out that Ent are tree folk. Yes. No. I'm. V I have been tagged on Twitter <laughs> numerous times, and yeah. I'm very excited uh, about Fangorn and um, who's the uh, the upst quick beam, right? Upstart Ent. Uh, excited about that. <laughs> like. Oh no, these. This isn't a secret layer. These are just the borderless ones from um, Double Masters. That's pretty. Like, okay. sure, sure, there could be a collective bargaining sliver, but I don't think slivers can bargain any other way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, uh, very I, true. Yeah. I don't think they they have any concept of non non collective bargaining. Yeah. Or really in non collective anything. So yeah. we're throwing out this. And keeping this? Yeah, there's got to be some... If only... I mean, as you say, like, you joked about, like, a woman's watch, but, like, for wrapping presents, honestly, these are yeah. probably great. Yeah, they're not sure. bad. Sure. Uh, here's some tokens. I don't know if you do have you, a pile of... Do you want to keep this black white uh, commander deck sorted together? Those are... That that looks like a tinker board for the, for the tokens deck. So, yeah, just keep all that together. Okay. Thank you for... No problem. Pulling that aside. What's this? Uh, oh, that's Commander Collection Black. Okay, Here, let me, or it let me, was. Let me oh, there's one card. Out. No, no, this, is, all this is all of them. They're still, it's the same, oh no, this is two cards. Okay. I guess I pulled the rest out for something else. All right. Anyway, it's a cool box. I don't need to keep it. Props yeah. also to the Commander Collection ones for, um, similarly, being really good about uh, packaging. So they're all paper. Okay. Is there anything left? Uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, sorry, the green one wasn't, because it was earlier. Okay. The green one still had... Um, one, uh, piece of plastic. Plastic. one piece of plastic. Okay. But uh, then they, sure. uh, then they moved to only paper, which I appreciate. What Eventually, they'll just mm -hmm. uh, put oh, a stamp on the card itself and just send it like a postcard. Nice. <laughs> it's card. After it's a all. series of lands. I don't mean to sound like an old man, but magic cards uh, oh, used to excellent. look like magic cards. <laughs> I like those lands. Good. I did. I did. I, I thought I got two of those. Okay, this yep. is a whole oh, I mean, last you can do it it's, you want. It's been a while since magic cards looked like magic That's cards. That's true. 
That's true. It's a very good episode of Rhystic Studies about this. All right, so you've got a Minotaur Rakdos deck that's yep. a little bit incomplete. Yep. Do you want to keep it together, or do you want to like unsleeve it and take it apart? Uh, or? Keep all those roughly okay. together. I should Great. finish that someday. All so right. I think what you have is a largely untouched Celestia guild, guild kit. kit. Yeah. Uh, yes. And I'm fine to just like I got it for the lands, as you saw in the in those those yeah. basics, right? Which you retained. Yeah. Cool. Great. Uh, the rest of what's in the guild kit, I don't care either way. Great. So, sort it however you need to sort it. Okay, we've got only the vanilla bears, Muraganda petroglyphs, <laughs> Gaia's anthem. Oh, I think it, this and, is the and it's a sixty card deck. The, oh, with cool bear tokens. Oh yes, someone I think someone made part of this for me. Check out these. Okay, yeah, one of these bear yeah, tokens. Yeah. These are made from bear tokens. You can see they're. Sort of three dimensional, kinda. They're made from like several. Oh, I see. They're like stacked up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very cool stuff. I can believe this was sent in by a fan. All right. Do, do you want to just keep it together, or do you want to do something else with it? Uh, I guess we keep that one together. Yeah. All right. Do not lick the vanilla bears, <laughs> even though they sound delicious. That's right. Mm. It's not going to go well for you. Okay. See, generally speaking, I when I buy a secret layer, I either buy it in non foil. Uh, or etched foil because the etched foils don't um, don't curl in the same way. Um, oh. And with this with this secret layer, which was the like movie poster cards, which I from a graphic design perspective I think are really really cool. This one came with uh, this Eldrazi monument. Nice. That's probably worth something. Oh yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's got the word Eldrazi in it. <laughs> Everyone loves that. I mean, it's just also worth a lot of damage every combat that you have a bunch of tokens or whatever. Yeah. Okay, I found the pile that came back from Mini. Well, oh, yeah. There it is. Yeah. Merle. Definitely want to keep the uh, playtest like, cards. It's like uh, 25 bucks. What you got there? This is your Orzhov token stack. That's, oh, that's the deck. This is the deck. Oh, great. Okay. We can keep that together, yes. and I can, I can someday look at making it not so ass. Though I'm not cutting Acacia Town. <laughs> no, no, you have to play Acacia Town. <laughs> They've made citizens now. Yeah. That's right. Uh, here's two more of the guild decks. There's, a, there's one more around somewhere. Oh, there's a pin. Oh, cool. Right. It come, some of them came with a, came with a pin. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's neat. Hooray. Okay, what's this one say? AFR one-shot Dex. Why is Dex in quotation marks? What does this mean? AFR one-shot. One-shot. I really don't know what that Dex. means. Sorry. So, AF oh! Is this from that thing we filmed with Dale? Okay. Outside? Oh, I remember yeah, that. that. You're right, you're right. That's what it would be. Where you guys were uh, playing D&D &D with your magic cards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. That was a That's fun why skit. they're only like ten card decks, right? Right. It was a little short pre-record. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Steadfast Paladin. All oh, right. You're ambushed on the road. You come to the Null Camp. You meet in a tavern. You happen on a glade. It's all these things. Okay. Oh, what? That was an appropriate use of oh, quotation and, marks around decks. And randomly in the middle of that is this old white border lightning bolt. Nice. <laughs> Pretty good D and D spell. Pinpoint avalanche. Dog illusion. What? Wish? What? Wait, there's a card that's just dog illusion? No, it's a token. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'll add that to the pile of tokens. Uh, no. Okay, so. I, the stuff what? that's in gold here is an attempt at a Glissa commander deck. Uh, the other stuff that's not in the gold sleeves, that those are from Minneapolis. Uh, they're unrelated. I just needed space to put something. Right. So we can... Someone, oh yeah, I want to show these off. Someone some gave bears. me, someone's daughter, well, someone said that his daughter wanted me to have these, and these are little handmade, adorable bears, because <laughs> she'd seen Game Nights, and they're great. Which Glissa? Uh, Glissa the Traitor. I was like, yeah, I'll make an Infect Commander deck, and then it was bad. Um, so I'm just as happy to disassemble that deck if... Uh... Looks bad, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, know. it's inspired. Poisons. Thank you. You got a serpent generator. Of course. <laughs> I mean, we've got more poison now. 
still looks bad, Graham. <laughs> it's not quite what we're going for. Not, yeah. Where, where did those uh, adorable bears come from? Um, uh, I don't recall. I don't think. Fan. I don't think I was yeah. given the names. Um, someone came by our booth, and uh, he said that his daughter uh, made, um, had watched game nights, and made those little hand-drawn bears for me. And uh, I thought they were really cute. Uh, right, the... My daughter watched game nights, saw you get dumpstered, and thought you <laughs> might want these. <laughs> yes, and she was right. It's true. Got a bear she here. also, my daughter also said that on oh, nice. turn yeah, three that. you should have uh, attacked. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, my daughter also noticed you kept a really bad hand and definitely should have gone to five. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Did you get dumpstered on game nights? Oh, no. Bear Force One, you won with. Yes, Bear yeah. Force One was successful. Um, the recorded spoilers, I guess. The recorded episode for YouTube. Uh, was uh, I did not do very successfully there, mm. and then the uh, the live the live show uh, I was the first one out, but it was um, correct to have done that. Oh yeah, I forgot I got all the. Uh, this is this this is why I want to sleeve these things up because I like I just have these all this stuff kicking around. What are those? These are the... Um, <laughs> Paul just hit you with the water, though. <laughs> <laughs> These are the... Uh, this The cycle of Innistrad... Um, Innistrad lands with um, color pair activations, like Vault of the Archangel and Nephalia Drown Yard and stuff. Um, but in the... Um, the... Monochrome creepy movie double feature style. Ah, right. Which I like, even though yeah. Double Feature itself was bad. Uh, I, yeah. I just, I'm not familiar with those ones because we can't Cause really, this a... we can't use them on the stream. Yeah, so. that, that's the problem is we can't really use these on stream because they like. Well, m these might not be so bad. We we decided very quickly not to use the basics on the stream because uh, we don't put basics on the over on the like the big heads up card reader, and so at size they just all look like swamps. Do you know how much Ink Moth Nexus is nowadays, Graham? Uh, no, I sure don't. Like 45 USD. Nice. Jeez. And you've got one in here? Oh, hey. What else have I got? That's a big pile of stuff you pulled aside. You got. I'm just pulling out all the rares. Oh, okay. Ooh, Black Sun Zenith. You got a Ravnica uh, Overgrown Tomb. Ooh. It's kind of hot. You have two Gliss of the Traders in here. Oh, right. One's in Japanese, yeah. Light Steel Colossus. Fun. That's probably Wait, worth it's something. Just... There, Alyssa even is a traitor to herself. She's like the second one. It's like, wait, which one do we kill? We have to shoot them both. Good. <laughs> of course. Yep. Can't be helped. I don't know what to do with this uh, planes from the mischief secret lair. It's planes. Well, oh, the mountain planes thing. It's not yeah. a planes. Oh, it's this goofy right, right, one. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, so it's this thing. You're supposed to peel off the front, and then you can play with it, right? And then it's a, it's a what is it? It's like it's a, a mountain on the back uh, or something. Battlefield no, it's Forge. Battlefield oh, Forge. Oh, it's a That's Battlefield one. Forge. Yeah. What is this? This is a secret layer card. <laughs> you could take it to a dealer. Uh, if yeah. If it's sealed. It is. It's a, so it's a planes or yeah. a mountain? Well, that great question. So it's a it's a planes. This is a planes, but there's it's got like a foily sticker film thing on it and you peel it off and then underneath it is a battlefield forge pharmacist judge says if you play in a tournament it's a battlefield forge okay well right. if you play in a tournament first you get dq'd for having a marked deck <laughs> that's true um how do you feel about zendikar forward basics uh i got a i got a box of them at home that i uh opted not to bring for so, keeper yeah pitch. Yeah, okay. I mean, I mean, what do they don't go just for throw these those out, do you? Really, they're not worth anything anymore. Yeah, but not you can, really. Well, you can really okay. drop them off at YJ at least or something, right? No, don't people still care about Flare Basics a little bit? This is a PSA it's to a everyone bit. out there that thinks like, oh, I shouldn't throw my cards out. I should bring them to and then insert location here. They don't want your shit. <laughs> they don't want you. Not like it's just. Do you I'm not buy trying to do, cards? I know. I'm not trying to roast you for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it up, fine. But it's just yeah. like. So many times I've seen people like, oh, you should donate that to a local school. It's like, great. 
I'm sure the kids at the Magic Club will love all these, you know, unplayable commons and uncommons <laughs> from drafts. Yeah. Like, even new players, brand yeah. new players, they can pretty quickly pick up when, you know, they're playing with good cards or at least fun cards instead of just like... Yeah. The, you know, what, what you do, yeah, you get your friend into playing Magic and then you go, oh, hey, here's a bunch of cards you can have. That's how it goes. And, that then, and then they find somebody else to give all those cards to later. That's the cycle. Even then, I mean, you started that off with, okay, so here's what you do, which yeah, is only yeah. ever done, like, said before you scam someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's stuff in fair. All right, what do we have here? What is this? Dromoka's Command Ooh. from the, uh, the pre-release, according to this Hall of Foil stamp. And then... Oh, Dagatar, the Adamant. Oh, these are just con Nope, they're not all rares. It's just a bunch of cons stuff. Is this from the pre-release? You got a Modern Masters 2015 blue-black draft deck here. I'm going to unsleeve it and take it apart. <laughs> Sounds great. great. Oh, look. Stamps. You had some stamps, yeah. Some of your cards were stamped from a Modern Masters event. Maybe oh, okay. That must be did you day two the GP Vegas, yeah. Did you day two GP Vegas? I Way did. Go. Yeah. Nice work, dude. Thank you. And then um, the... I remember distinctly. Um, this was this was the the weekend where there were GPs in Kobe and right. Vegas and Berlin or something. Was it Berlin? Might have been Paris. I don't know. I think it was in Germany. I think you're right. Um, and because of the time zones, uh, word had gotten through the pro level back channels uh, how to draft the set. Okay. Uh, I was not in those pro level back channels, so I got screwed in the day two drafts because <laughs> everyone was just uh, first picking scatter the seeds. Sure. Uh, and I was like, that card seems cool, I guess. And then uh, yeah, it was bad. <laughs> Copenhagen, that was it. Yeah, the convoke deck was pretty good. Yeah. Seven. But That's I had true. I had no idea because in sealed I just um, what the what is this? You can't recycle magic cards. Yeah, you can't. It sucks. Uh, is there a newish card that I can rip up to showcase? I mean, wait, wait, which one am I? Well, I'm show like oh, okay. I want to see if we can maybe, if you can see it, probably not going to show up. But there's like plastic in the card. Yeah, there's a layer of plastic. It's this like blue plastic yeah. that's in between. No, you can just barely see it. Yeah, sort of there. It makes it so that. You know, you can do the bending and stuff, and yeah, it makes them it, a lot stronger. Without it, magic cards wouldn't actually be magic cards. You'll see um, tokens don't have that in it, in them. Yep. And so you'll and you'll notice that they feel distinctly different. Well, some of the older tokens. Hey, I think they started this is fun. I've actually referenced this a few times. Uh, that this is at one year at PAX East, someone was like, "Hey, we have a box of homelands." You want to come draft? <laughs> and we drafted Homelands. And this is my deck. I've got five Inaba Shamans. <laughs> wow. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. dude, this, this deck was sweet. Yeah. Sengir Bats, Torture. Thre three Sengir Bats. If you get like three Inaba Shamans on the battlefield, you can they kill can. all of humans. You <laughs> can all of Homelands, yeah. I mean. A couple so Cemetery like, Gates. I was going to say, that's the only thing that survives is Cemetery Gate. All right, this blue white. This is your day two draft deck. You had a Battle Grace Angel and a Chimeric Mass. I don't know. It doesn't look terrible. Oh no, it was a sweet deck. I just oh, yeah. got. I just. I just. Oh, got it's Esper. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah for that enough. was. Oh right. That was. Is that, is that the one with like uh, narcolepsy? Yeah, it has narcolepsy. Yeah, Were you forgetting was... your triggers? No. <laughs> okay. That was where someone tried to get me. Okay. Um. Because. Uh, heard this story. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you need to keep I've this? I've heard this. Story, you need to keep yeah. this foil narcolepsy then? No, it's okay. Okay. It's fine. All right. Yeah. No. It, it, it was just narcolepsy and pillory of the sleepless. Oh, yeah. Both both going off at the same on the same upkeep, mm -hmm. and so it was like okay, pillory, and so then I go to write down the change in life total from uh, from pillory of the sleepless, yeah, and then it's like all right, cool, and then narcolepsy, tap your thing, and the guy was like, oh, I already drew my card, <laughs> and I'm like, bro, no, no. <laughs> I should I should have called a judge. What I did was go, dude, and he was like, all right, fine, because <laughs> he knew that he was just trying to angle shoot, yeah. <clears throat> right, what is this? You okay? Yeah. What is yeah, this? I've just got a. Was it? Were you the opponent? No. <laughs> yes, it was me. Yeah. Yeah. Stop shaming me about being such a. This was a <laughs> like scumbag so many years ago. Battle for Zendikar pre-release deck. 
It's some kind of battle for Zendikar Limited. Oh, Blight Herder. Jesus Christ. What? Uh, just the... Oh, yeah. Some... I was just looking... Some folks in the chat were saying that the more recent cards can be recycled. And apparently... Huh. The... Uh, it, there's very this. mixed information. I De think people are lying. Depending on what your pers what your local recycling situation is. Also, apparently, certain printing, like uh, the Japanese printings, are more recyclable than North American printings. Really? Yeah. Huh. Wild. This is more. B Why is there more BFZ? Okay. Good news. It's all and, terrible. But it also depends on what your local recycling program is. Got it. We've just been, yeah, we've been uh, used to BFZ not being deck. able to recycle the cards here in Victoria. In fact, uh, someone from the Magic community who was like a regular at FNM went and worked at the recycling plant for a while and, what, and, rem and remembers just like having to sort through and like make sure that none of the Magic cards got onto the like conveyor belt for paper. But, I mean, that was 10 years ago. Are those boxes empty? No, they're no. full of garbage. Okay. So they could be empty in a second if you want to let Wheeler throw them in the garbage. Jesus Christ. This is just... I mean, what? if you want to have another rip, you can, but this is all the cards that I think, like, you're not getting anything from a dealer. I don't know if there's, like, important cards here that need to stay in the gram. It's good enough not for my really. Commander Dex collection. What are, what are like, these? Well, that, just one's, like, that one's a bunch of foreign cards. I mean, it's a bit of mix. It's mostly Japanese stuff. Yeah. I'm just looking for a box I can put. And you don't want, like, foil foils that you won't use? Or do you yeah. want to keep them? You sighed. Yeah, I because I I kept them like you said, Here right? But like I shouldn't. Like, what am I going to use them for? Nothing. You haven't yeah. put them in a deck yet. No, I. <laughs> they take up space in your house. <laughs> I'll take out the ones that I mean, take out the ones that are you know worth. Yeah, if you yeah, have no, a rip please. through those two boxes yeah, and yeah, I yeah, miss yeah. something that a dealer would buy, then great. Um, but I don't know that there's anything in those two boxes that Graham needs for Commander. Throwing away cards feels so good. Is Cameron still in chat? Cameron was in chat saying, Graham, you're going to feel so good after this. It's one of the best <laughs> yes. decisions mm. I've ever made. Cameron <laughs> dropped off his collection at my place, which was about eight, like, four-column boxes. Cameron says, simply name every card you want to keep. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. Just like opening I'll the drawer. It. Just like opening the drawer. Tell me what's in it. You can keep those cards. <laughs> We're not playing that. I'm I can't just... even name cards I like. This box is the cheap. space you're going to have. Ooh. Vault of Champions. So what's in the there? hell is this? That's uh, Commander Legends. Okay, nice. Yeah. Uh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, definitely stuff like Dual Lands. The Fairy Zile. What deck is this? Some sort of oh, Esper. Did, oh, is that Breath Stealer's Crypt? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, this was. I want to keep that deck together. That Great. was uh, Game Nights. Okay. We, we, we That was the second time I was on Game Night. Or first time? I can't remember. I was on Game Nights, and the, the thing was, it was like. Um, Old school cards, and so we, I just brought a bunch of like old border nonsense. And Jimmy and Josh had never seen or, or paid attention to right. Breath Stealer's Crypt, and it just like it messed the game up. Nice. Okay, this is like a. I feel like those are sleeve. stuff that I'd set aside. This is for some dark. That must have been for a, a sell order or something. Yeah, this looks like cards you want to sell. It looks, yeah. Is yeah. there a token in there? Why would I it's do that? It's an emblem. Oh, okay. You can sell it. That's probably why. Probably. Emblems. Also, this 3-3 three, three Garrick Beast token. <laughs> I don't know. What a weird thing. Yeah. Emblem sell. <clears throat> sure. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, this stuff could all go. What is this? It's all still on buy lists, I think. Why are they still... Some of these are still in booster wrappers. Yep. Cracker pack? Live cracker pack? You like that, bud. Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is, uh... <laughs> Somebody had to say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Ooh! That's a good fish. Island nice fish to Nice fish. Right. Uh, I don't know if someone please let me know if fine. any of this is valuable. You were collecting a complete set of Magic 2010. A foil, it looked like. Maybe. You, between this and that... Now, you got was it was it a complete set no. of Magic Twenty Ten in no. foil? Okay, no. okay, <laughs> that we did that we did just accidentally broke up. No, 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 you, no it wasn't complete. Fine. You okay. got the mono white Nahiri deck just still still in its package. Oh, yeah. Do you want to keep that or I sell it or what? Like, is, is there good stuff in there? Yeah, like I mean, yeah, it's okay. a pretty good deck, and there's a few good singles, but also 
if you have no intention of needing to break it apart for the cards that are in it, you could maybe, as Wheeler said before, just sell the whole thing. Because it's, it's all here. You know what I mean? So okay. you might get a better price that way, but yeah. All right. It can just go in your cell pile. Uh, Cameron, that's what I'm doing. This is all these secret layers. I'm literally taking them out of here and putting them in perfect fits Hunt for that feed, purpose. Torment and Agonize. Oh, this is a dual dex. Oh, okay. Well, we can keep the dual dex together. Sor those Soren are, versus Tybalt. Yep. Those are handy, especially if Sweet. playing with Penelope. Why is that in a hard Serac shot? and Tassiova, or Yasova, the Dragon Claw friends. But why? Or was one of them the great grandmother of the other? I can't remember. I don't know. You'd What's probably the rest of that? Build a, okay, we got Annex and Siamese, some sort of red white oh, token that, stack. That, no, I don't was know. Was that a tiny leader's deck? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Annex and Siamese are pretty good tiny leaders. <laughs> I yeah, think that's all a tiny cards leader's deck that I like, bought all the cards for that oh, nice. at uh, GP Vancouver. And then played and then tiny then leaders zero times. Played it. Yeah. yeah, played tiny leaders exactly I zero did my, times. I did my best, fellow yeah. Canadians, making a cool new Singleton format. I... Ford has, I don't know why. More more work into that format than like any other one of oh, yeah, Yellowjack. Oh, yeah, keep those. Those are great. But I like yeah, did my best to like hey, kick off the Tiny Leaders format. This cool card. Didn't happen. Just hey. wouldn't go. What? Is that, that that's, you get to draw whatever you want? On no, the I have no idea how I got these or what they are. Like, th these are Blank legit. artist prints. These are actual, yeah. yeah. Those are actual magic cards. They're just blank. What's Tiny Leaders? Great question. Next question. Um, hey, that's an official format right now. Okay, so do you want to take Wait. your Tiny Leaders deck apart? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay, fine. Great. great. How about your Dragon Claw friends? Can we take them out of the hard sleeve? Yeah, I don't know why they're in the hard sleeve. Okay, that makes uh, it Here's an Italian Maybe M14. More. That was one of the things that's still in its booster wrapper. Ooh, you got a Door of Destiny. Oh. Is that? It's a good magic card. Great. I mean, it's worth less because it's Italian. <laughs> and and Shadowborn Apostle, that's like a $4 common. Wow, really? Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna, I've got two packs of, uh, is it Born of the Gods or Journey into Nyx? Uh, Born of the Gods. Okay, in Russian. Do you want to try, oh, never mind. What? I was going to say, do you want to try Stump the Wheeler mm. where you read the card name? Uh, I can't read that one. Whelming Wave? That's Whelming Wave. Hey, yeah. all right. Well, I'll just give this to you. And here's another one. <laughs> Nothing in there, hey? Oh, here we go. Russian Chromanticore. Ooh! Surely that's... Surely someone wants that. Yeah, His name's cool Wheeler, not Shirley. <laughs> mm. Probably nothing else in there, but I'll give it to you anyway. I uh, just... We just recorded... Shivam and I just recorded the episode for Born of the Gods for Shivam and Wheeler Love Magic, okay. and uh, yeah, nice. there's nothing in there. Wow. <laughs> there's... Uh, <laughs> Born of the Gods. It's not as bad as I... Grim as and Corsair, the set. Yeah, yeah. It's not as <laughs> bad as you'd think, but it's definitely like... That, like, Mark Rosewater <laughs> came out and was like, listen, we're going to stop doing three set blocks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, time there for Shiva and Wheeler, Love Magic, Born of the Gods. We don't like this set. We don't like hey. this. It's garbage. Done. It sucks. Easy. Easy there episode. So now, all these boxes are these cards. That's much smaller. Uh, all right, what's that one? The oh, those are the tokens. These are the tokens That's for the, the Orzov. tokens for the Orzov uh, tokens deck. There's an entire box of just the tokens because it's silly. All right, what's in here? Well, what's in there? Right. It's a box I opened and went, no, I'm good. <laughs> Put it back. I'll deal with that later. I don't know. There's a foil arcane adaptation at the front. That's pretty good. In a still... See, oh, this is a... Is this from a pre-release? Who has the bottom half of this? Oh, you know what? This is... Nope. This, this is... Nope. Uh, nope. Wait. Nope. The hell scream. Dude, this is a whole bunch of stuff. Nice. No, someone That's who knows better for. has to look through this one. <laughs> this is a ton. Is a ton of just like potentially valuable cards. I say potentially because I don't know, but it's like some of them are rares, some of them are foils. Um, uh, it goes back several years. I think that is a box that I took and set aside, being like. Some of these might be worth selling, mm -hmm. and then uh, never did. Because frankly, it's a pain. It is a shame. I mean, you know, the fat packs. You're just what, chucking them if they're whether you whether you if, like them as a product or not. If there's like 
borderless the, the, or showcase stuff? The oh, I'm keeping those. Okay, good, because I do like those. Yeah. The containers that Fat Packs came in were super nice for oh, they're great. card collections. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We still have a ton in our shelf here. This is just a box of Modern Masters 2. Sweet. Mm. Just random stuff. Oh, wait, and some... No, that's one card from Magic Origins. All right. Again, this will have to go to someone who knows what they're doing. Thank you. You have to like go back into your own mind, being like, okay, what was I thinking when I was doing this? Uh, all right, this was that weekend that I was just in a bad spot mentally. I was just like, I'm going to take all my magic cards and put them in a giant pile. Uh, bundle, uh, fat pack slash bundle boxes are indeed, I believe, roughly the same now as they, as they used to be. But yeah, yeah I, I like storing cards in them. I also have, as you might have noticed, this holiday gift box, yeah. which uh, I think we are just afraid to see what's inside it. I can take that one. It's fine. <laughs> we'll all take it. Yeah, that, there'll probably be pieces that go in different directions. Is that one of the ones we did on the gift exchange? <sighs> no, this is this is from Return to Ravnica. This is some. This is of some vintage. And then they're shit chaff how many PPR decks will be in this. But we've come across a few so far, though most of the PPR kit boxes are still in my closet. Don't worry about it. Part Don't two. even worry about it. A lot of empty boxes though, so that's nice. What's oh this? yeah, we're getting we're getting things done here. Uh, this is an AFR deck. Yep. It's an AFR deck. Yeah, I'm stealing this Russian Corrupt. Yeah, I'm taking this foil M10 Seismic Strike. Nice. Cool. <clears throat> the uh, I'm a big fan of the Russian, um, what is it, Syndic of Tithes? Oh, yeah. Mm. That guy just looks so menacing <laughs> when his name is in Cyrillic. That was, that was Wheeler's emblem when it came out. Syndic of Tides? Yeah, yeah, you were really stoked about that card. It's like, this is everything I want to be doing. Yep. And it even looks like me. I drafted that. <laughs> oh, the, 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 the Gate Crash one. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the oh, 2 2 yeah. white yeah, creature yeah. with the extort. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, we can leave the dual decks together. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. I just to wanted have. to double check that it's actually the thing that says Oh, this. and it is? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to have those around. I left a. I have a Garrick versus Liliana dual deck at home that I kept together as well. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay. Belch. Okay. So do we have a place to put stuff that I should sell? Is it that currently? This is, well, this is the stack. Okay, so my suggestion yes. is that between this time and the next time, that, next like, time. we got to, we purge the stuff that you either aren't selling mm -hmm. and you aren't keeping. Right. And we just create one big pile. Okay. Then we move forward mm -hmm. and divide that into what you want to keep and what you want to sell. Right. Because there also, we just have three people here, so we don't want to run into the spot where it's like, oh, Graham needs an isolated chapel. And then Nelson goes, oh, Graham needs an isolated chapel. And you find an isolated chapel, you're like, I need an isolated chapel. And then you have this deck with an isolated chapel. <laughs> right. Okay, cool, cool. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, you had a Teamer Fate Reforge deck. Was, I guess it's the Fate Reforge pre-release for the Shaman of the Great Hunt as your promo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That... It's coming apart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that deck with Shaman of the Great Hunt and Alesha, that would be when I went 5-0 at the pre-release. Nice. Offered my opponent a split in the last round, and they didn't take it, and then I beat them. Name yeah. names. <laughs> this is local name names. It was Allison. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Funny. She didn't need the split. No. She's playing that tournament for free and getting paid a little bit on top. It's okay. Just wants to fight you. Kamigawa Neon Dynasty PP Jesus. <laughs> PP Jesus. Nice pool. Good old PP <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I didn't even get. Okay, hold on. What's up? Ah, uh, just. I'm going to show off a couple of the cards from your pool here. Please. Just a couple. I mean, that's an uncommon, but it's a pretty good uncommon. Ah. No, my microphone. Graham's deck is blue and white. Yep. It includes such cards as... The Wandering Emperor. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
Reckoner Bank Buster. Oh, that's oh, a good yeah. one. Farewell. Oh, no. Lion Sash. And March of Otherworldly Light. How, how'd you do in that? Video? I don't remember. <laughs> Did Bank Buster get banned, or was that Bank Buster did get banned. It did get banned, yeah, okay. Got banned. This... Banned, I'm afraid. This bo I mean box had a deck of... Uh, conspiracy? Is that that, is that that symbol? Yeah. Is it Conspiracy or Conspiracy Take the Crown? No, think, that's Conspiracy. I think that's Conspiracy. And business cards... <laughs> people at Wizards of the Coast. Awesome. One of whom definitely still works there. That's Aaron weird. Aaron Forbes. No. <laughs> it's definitely not Aaron. Frenzy Sliver. Why I mean, are there Future Sight cards in here? What the hell? If if PPRs are... Have, past PPRs are top media thing, if we go back and look at that PPR, you'll just see Graham being like immediately dumpstered by something it's just like and none of those cards actually coming out i yeah that, t that tends to happen where someone is like i opened the best pool ever and then you go up against somebody who just has like a mediocre deck but they tempo out and mm -hmm. get you okay it's a more recent commander deck it's got a graven lore from call time it's esper Wait. it's got oh is this shade tribe some sort of undead theme yeah there's a narfi the betrayer king was that box labeled? No. Not labeled. These sleeves. Card Kingdom sleeves. What's up? Card I haven't Kingdom? found the commander. Did we figure this was a... Maybe this was like a Kaldheim... Yo! Oh, it might be Shroom the Hegemon. Chat, did we did we do a Kaldheim... Uh... Oh, wait, hang on. Is it Shroom? There's Cold Snap cards in here, too. And oh, it's all right. snow covered. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Was okay. this was this um, we did, summertime? Yeah, we did like cool? a snow thing. We did oh, like a yeah, cold yeah. snap called Heim oh. Ice Age. Huh. I, you know what else was in here? I wasn't on this stream. Yeah. A beta soul ring? <laughs> Is that a beta ring? I don't think it's beta. Is it alpha? Was no. it fake? Oh, it's CE. It's CE. That's still pretty sweet. Canadian gold. Yeah. So nice. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scrying sheets? Not as much as a beta, but still. Oh, man. Yeah, Plenty wanna... nice card. Keep a lot of that deck. I don't know. Do you want to just keep it together, or do you want do you want to take it apart? What do you What do you think? I don't know. Where did I? <laughs> Thermal <laughs> flux. Yeah. Okay. Let's Sun in the snow. <laughs> so good guards. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Let's keep your let's keep All your right. snow deck together for now. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Maybe I'll need to cool off again soon. Who knows? Here's a pile of nonsense. Um, no, that's empty. That's empty. All right. What's in here? No, oh, Ultra Magnus. You know. Oh, this is more recent stuff. Skeleton. Yep. All right. Random Elminster. As one does. Been known to random an Elminster from time to time. Okay. You say it's a uh, collector's edition Sol Ring? Yeah, collector's edition Sol Ring. Yep. It's in pretty bad shape, but you know. It's like a hundred bucks. Yeah. Sick. All right. Ultra Magnus is a good commander. We're still I mean, in uh, Tom's Park here, and we're still Teamer over here. This time with. Uh, I mean, yeah, Demir. of course. Of course, Ultra Gold Magnus Mage. is a good commander. Yeah. I don't know if he's a good magic card, but yeah. you know, <laughs> he led the he led the Autobots well. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> it's what a strange variety of things. If I had to guess, uh huh, and you do, this is from a point of weakness in your life. <laughs> what does that mean? Where you thought you could escape through collector boosters <laughs> and find joy in that? Because oh, this, it's a, this probably a couple collector boosters. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. There's some heaters in here, though. Yeah. Got a foil Darcy. Oh, hey, nice. Whoops. Oh, right there. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Um, Good to see a Darcy. I don't know why I led with that. Well, I guess I led with that to build up to this foil for grief. Ooh, Ooh is that for trade? <laughs> that's a that's a pretty one. Um, wow. Actually, I think I managed to pick one of those up in mini. What's still on my list? Oh, it's saw in half. Do you have a saw in half? Is there a saw in half in this pile somewhere? It's a card I'm still trying to find. There might be. Actually. Okay. Is like, Saw in Half like just weirdly 
uh, pricey because it's like low key very good, especially in Highlander. It's not like I mean I don't think a Highlander couple, really a, determines a the price of things. A couple people were playing it in yeah. uh, in um, the top eight. Uh, of what? Of the Highlander. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a cool it's commander a good... card and Highlander card. Yeah. Okay. So it's like five bucks to ten bucks, but hmm. they just didn't. None of the dealers brought them to Minneapolis. Also, I love the big mystical. Archive I haven't even cards. checked why. Hmm? I also love the, the mystical archive cards as well. All right. I yeah, do that, like those. Those. Uh, that grief is about fifty border. bucks. Yeah. That makes sense. Damn. Great. Good. Yep. You're a rich man, Graham Stark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we going in? Yeah. All right. The elemental I, embodiment of what grief. What do we have in here? I don't know. Wow. I'll just, do this iconic leaf that, box. No, it's empty already. Okay. That does not look like what was originally in that pack box. No. <laughs> okay. So not originally. Ah. All right. Now, these are the old. Um, this is from. Dual decks. Yeah. No. No. Not dual decks. This is uh, intro decks. This is. Oh. So this is the Golgari Corpse Jack Menace deck. I don't need to keep these. Okay. The Azorius deck with our kind of the triumvirate. I think most of. But those an decks earlier version of Graham did need to keep these. <laughs> Uh, well, I think that, and some of them are still sealed, right? Here's like Fathom Mage. Um, I got a soap dish. I got a classic oh, yeah. hard plastic 99 cent box here so with sticky. old basic lands in it. Okay, sweet. Oh, Lavinia the These 10. are where the old ones go. Uh, we've got Treasury Thrall. Vorel of the Hull Clade. Um, what? What's a Hull Clade? Uh, the Clades are various divisions of the Simic. Uh, oh, Hull, okay. Hull Clade being a specific Clade. What's that one? Right. got an Urza Saga lying around it's in taking, this pile. Oh. Taking just your unhinged plains and mountains out oh. of their jewel case and putting them with the rest of your basic lands. We're going to sort I, all the basic so lands eventually. I know. Right. Well, that's okay. I don't okay. know why, but I had someone snitch on you. On me? Something about this card. What did I do? Underworld Hermit. Oh! About how it didn't make squirrels. No, or it did make squirrels, yeah. and you didn't know why it made squirrels? No, it's, okay, I understand that a hermit makes squirrels in the parlance of Magic the Gathering. Yes. I, I get that. Okay. Right? It's just why that guy <laughs> yeah, I don't know. makes squirrels. He's, he's just like, he's an undead statue in the underworld of Theros, and for some reason he makes squirrels. I, I, I understand like mechanically why, because that deck was about there that set had a black green squirrels sub theme. Yeah. But it it was just weird to me that like that the character pictured created squirrel tokens. Okay. What's that signed card that you're Which that, one? That Nelson just picked Nelson. It's not signed. It's the case is uh denotes who these this gift was from. It's from I want to say Devin, no, no, there, Egypt craze in chat. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. there was definitely a card that was like had like a gold signature oh, on it. Oh, this one, yeah, this is an Arabo Roar of the World mm. signed oh, by. Oh, that's an artist proof. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, you're right. It's got no magic card back. Good cap. So that'd be oh, yeah, I'm signed by this. Erica Williams. Okay, but yeah, Egypt yeah, craze. We're gonna one, finally take is, these out of the jewel box that you send them that's to us. Okay, so uh, I found the Chandra signature spellbook Ooh. and the Gideon signature spellbook. <laughs> this is a great history of all the side <laughs> side, side products. Product. Yeah. I mean, do you want to keep all these things in their original jewelry? I could put the lands back if you want, but it's like you had a set of bearscape someone sent you. Oh, finally. Yeah. Good. I was looking, looking for, for bearscape. Those? Great. You've Although, got five. Really, I want the <laughs> extremely it, gay one. Yes. <laughs> right. It's but you pride also got these. Chat. It is pride, yeah. Happy pride. You, you got these cool like three D tokens. Those I feel like could stay in these things. I think those weird. have to live in there. Okay, cool. But these the other these are. other regular magic cards, I want to separate oh and just put in with the other stuff that you're oh, keeping. Oh, just two cards fused together. That's weird. Chandra's signature spellbook should just be like kind of burnt around the edges. I mean, it like the cards are literally on fire at the bottom. Okay, that's pretty good. So, yeah. Uh, Gideon's, for some reason, has uh, Richard Kane Ferguson Blackblade Reforged. So that's fun. I've got Chandra's and Gideon's, and then I think they stopped making them? Is that correct? 
They did Jace. Oh, they did do... Okay, I've got Jace's around somewhere. And then they did Commander Collection uh, Black and Green. And I've got both of those. And I think that's where they stopped. Yep. <laughs> they were a cool product. Bring them back. Or at least finish the cycle. What is it? Okay. Mm. A uh, bunch of Dragon's Maze foils. Oh, yeah. People love Dragon's Maze. Everyone's favorite. Can you sense the sarcasm in my voice? I mean, the set was better than Homelands. See, I don't feel... Uh, yeah. see, right? I mean, like, it's better than Homelands. I don't feel know. the relief watching you chuck this stuff into the trash, but I will feel it later when I'm carrying less things home. Yeah, that's right. You're going to make it home. Oh. One of my favorite tokens. Rock! Thank you. Paper. Uh, oh, these are all tokens. Salamander Warrior. Hell yeah. <clears throat> elf, 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 spirit, zombie, squirrel. All right. These can go These can go into general. And a humble defector. That's weird. A lot of foils. I yeah, none of them good. Well, look, I never said that I was good at this. That's fine. Well, I mean, <laughs> you're fine. Look, that's a stack of stuff. That's a stack of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Here, uh, <clears throat> have another gander at this before it goes in the trash. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, uh, uh, speaking of rock tokens, I'm a big fan of the, uh, the new um, trebuchet card that they spoiled for uh, oh, Lord yeah. of the Rings. Oh, yeah. That instead of... The very simple thing that has been done many times before, <laughs> where it just does direct damage to somebody. No, it it attack, fi it physically throws a boulder. Attacks creates a two one boulder token with flying, and that thing is and then it's sacrificed at the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. It's just so silly. It oh, well, it does not itself attack. It can't. Well, it, but it, it's when a orc or goblin attacks, then you make a yeah yeah. And and uh, and it's tapped and attack yeah. It's tapped. People also got a hold of us about that one because of course we mispronounce trebuchet. Oh, hex drinker. Trebucket. Hex drinker still worth dollars. Yep. Great. And then uh, yeah, and then we can. Um, Here, those go in there too. And then because it's Lord of the Rings, uh, I'm sure there's some way that you could make that um, that boulder your ring bearer. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, just animate it. In, you need instant the, speed. Uh, yeah, instant speed. Instant speed ring temptation. Ring temptation. There's got to oh, be yeah, something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that happens. Do right? you open a pack of Weatherlight? I think so. At some and, point. And you're like, and everybody on your side is like, okay, who's the ring bearer? I left it on that rock. What? You left it? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I got some Ice Age here. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Dire wolves. What also, of them doing? Also, Old the Uven rock. Shaman. The rock becomes legendary. Fun fact: Old Magic card sets also can fit in the trash. <laughs> no. uh, do you want to keep these art cards? Not really. I don't know why. I, I don't know you why know, I you kept know where them. To send them. Like they, they look nice, but I don't. Yeah. Need them. I mean, if you or, want them or use them, for if anything, you, there's what? no wrong. Buddy, you got a Zer's weirding in here. There's a Zer's weirding in one of the decks too, actually. Yeah. I don't know what that. I mean, it's not worth anything, oh. but it's very. It's it's a rare. It's a rare. It's a rare. Got me so excited. Four mana enchantment. All players play with the cards in their hands, face up on the table. Whenever any player draws a card, any other player may pay two life to force the drawing player to discard that card. It's a weird way to say that. Yeah, you can lock people up. Oh, okay. You know that, Zer. Kind of a weird guy. Weirding. Weird guy. Weird guy. There's some weirding going on over there, you know? Weird guy. Do you want to keep the stamped cards? What do you mean the stamped cards? The stamped cards? You, mean, you know, the cards you have with oh. stamps on them. I've been trying to think about that, right? Because it's like, on the one hand, it's this cool artifact of like, hey, I did really well in a, at, a, at a GP. And on the other hand, it's like, does that matter? You know what I did with my stamp cards actually recently? Threw them out. Oh. Yeah. It's just like, okay. I did good in a magic tournament. Do good at a lot of magic tournaments. Mm. You do uh, too. Yeah. yeah. There you go. You... I mean, if you want to keep them, we can keep them. Yeah. 
Shout out to uh, there you go. Now we're talking. Big, big shout out to the loincloth in uh, the original Zer's Weirding for doing Whoa. some very important work. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Why are we looking up at Zer? <laughs> Hello, Zer. That's his weirding. Yeah, that's right. That's what it is right Nelson. there. Yo. What's that? <laughs> no! Ah! <laughs> Block, block. Uh, it's a sand blast. It's a, oh. it's a sand earlier. blast. Which sand is, blast. Sand blast. It's a move that a uh, character in Street Fighter Six uses. I haven't found a Sonic Blade yet among all this stuff. Can you believe it? Um, sand blast. That's true. Chat points out that you do have video evidence that you made it to day two. That's true. That's right. So nobody can take that away from you. Well, YouTube could, I guess. They could take it down. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> you know we got more garbage wells. <sighs> we got very close to doing a very fun uh, piece of video content that weekend. The um, the GP Vegas, um, and it was. You'd think that it was my pitch because it's a very it's the kind of idea that I would come up with. Um, but it was actually I think it was Trick actually that pitched it, and then Wizards ended up not going for it. Uh, which is a bummer, but um, so it was because again, this was the triple GP. It was I think you're right. It was Copenhagen and Kobe and Vegas, and the idea was to visit all three, all three GPs. Oh wow! So like fly to start in Kobe, mm. and then go to Europe, and then finish exhausted at Vegas, Just and like, like do a vlog of like spend the GP weekend the on a plane instead of at a GP, yeah. Yeah, but Fair you enough. know, like it would be super cool. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a new idea. Yeah, yeah. Ended up not doing that for that sounds a like a logistical Justin Trudeau uh, New Year's Eve thing. Mm. What are you? It's, what? Somebody asked about my shirt. Yeah, turn it cold. says "Turn Cold." There's a penguin on it, and there's a skull in an ice cube. Thank you, Meth and June, for the shirt. Uh, nice. Oh, my Commander Tinkerboard box. Yeah, there's a box here that says Commander Tinkerboards, and there are some non-artifact permanents in here. Um, yeah, you can't get also, those with Tinker. So what? What's? Uh, it's not what I don't. It's not why I called it a Tinkerboard. It's like because I'm tinkering with the deck. Oh, I'm familiar. Hey, guess what? You drafted blue white for Time Spiral Remastered. Did I? Yeah. Oh, fun. Yeah, Dina Chronicler. I wonder Inventor. how I did. Uh, I don't remember. Did the Zoom Shapeshifter? Go back oh, and nice. watch the stream. Cool. So I understand the purpose of this, and in fact, I believe this is the stack of cards you would put in your Dromar deck. Oh, the one that, Nell, that Nelly found earlier. Oh, is this has this already been gone through? The Breath Dealer's Crypt one, that deck, the blue black. Yeah, that deck is around white. here. It was it was there's Chromium. A, yeah, I think, there's originally. an Esper. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I was gonna like Miser's Cage and whatnot. You played this on a stream with us on a Friday night. Oh, paper I fight. think I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I had like the, all the like vice whatever it cards. It was the tainted aether tainted stream. Aether. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, I don't know if that one needs going through necessarily. But trash. There's some good stuff in here. We could just keep it as is. I mean, okay. Yeah. It's oh, serving man. a purpose. I'm out of boxes. I know. Really. Um, yeah, I could sort. I could. I could tidy these ones up. Okay, great. I don't we know could, what's in there. Yeah, we could clear <laughs> off some of this because some of these. Some. Are yeah, some of this pile over here is decks, and some is just empty boxes. Okay, that's empty box. Like. Empty box. We're too efficient. Sleeves. Uh, although. Sleeves. It might be is worth a good time for a break. Take, yeah. a, take a quick break. Oh, sure. Okay. Let's do that. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back uh, in a few minutes and continue this, so don't go away. <laughs> hey, what's up? Welcome back to the Chit Chaff. This evening we're going through my extensive collection of nonsense. Uh, thank you, Sovereign Wind, for that raid. Uh, awkward timing. Also, you said that the person watching wanted to learn how to play magic. This, this, this isn't really the venue for that this evening, but that's okay. Uh, we're going through stuff and sorting is, it out. This is part of playing magic. It's part of Magic the Gathering, yeah. That's right. The fun part. Well, I got your Brothers War pre-release kit here. So these are similar to that other <laughs> thing. These are just, I don't know. These Only in Graham's pre-release kit for Brothers War can you get stuff. six basics I've, from Infinity. I've decided nice to work. tackle these boxes now. All right. If there's a pile of, I'm out of stuff to do. If there's a pile of, like... Foils like you just pulled aside. Yeah, I don't need to keep those. But if it's like, how about what's up? Here is a stack of cards okay. that I went through yep. and said that these are worth keeping mm -hmm. one way or another. One way or another. 
you can look at that and think, well, this is a card I want to sell. This is a card I want to keep. You know, maybe start that process. Sounds good. I've never even seen Grime Gorger before. Yeah. Oh, you're going to spend a lot of time with Grime Gorger. You got to get to know Grime Gorger, obviously. Love Grime Gorger. Is that from Capenna? Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the new competitive commander deck, yep. yes. Three, nobody. Three, go nobody. Ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Oh. Well, I, just, I was going to say, nobody remembers every single new card from the new competitive commander deck. There's no. too many. Too many. They just went ham. Yeah. 3-3 three, three Menace, whenever it attacks, exile up to one card of each. Oh, sorry. Line return got me. Whenever Grime Gorger attacks, exile up to one card of each card type from defending player's graveyard. Put a plus one plus one counter on Grime Gorger for each card exiled this way. What the heck? They're cool cards. That is a cool card. Also, what? He should just go to Ravnica and hang out with the Golgari. They could be friends. Yeah, they love Grime over there. <sighs> Yay, venerated locks. Nice. You're rich now. It, yeah, that's right. That card just popped off. Or what? It's like. The new hot deck in Pioneer yep. is Boros Convoke. Oh, fun. It's Hogak, says, I don't know, people that lose Someone. their mind yeah. on the internet. Someone said it. Oh, Brokers All right, Graham, in Brothers War pre-release, you played black, green, good stuff. That sounds like me. Yeah, you drew some cards. You reanimated some stuff. Ah, oh, Mystique Elf. <laughs> Elvish Mystique? Yeah, but in... Uh, oh, it's French. <laughs> I think. What sort of totally weird language is this? Oh, it's oh, French. it's oh, it's French. Okay, I see. Yes. The uh, oh, second yeah. official language of my country. Creekwood. <laughs> oh, French. right. Keep that one. I remember now. Oh yeah, this weird promo art plague stinger. And then something, I think. Back Gateway when way promos or FNM back promos, when alternate yeah. ooh overground tomb. Back when alternate arts were less common. Put this on screen to scare a commander player. Yeah. <laughs> that side doesn't scare me nearly as much as the other side. Legends say they've been tilting you need for to play years. More commander, though. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I, oh I, I mean, I've I have a Turgrid deck. <clears throat> I have a Turgrid brawl deck, and I I always cast the other side. Cut the tape. We can't let that get out. Grant's gonna get canceled. <laughs> oh no. I haven't played it in months. Oh, Japanese Blightsteel Colossus? I forgot I had this. Oh, this is all the stuff from the Glissa deck. Right, there's yeah, Glissa and Glissa and Black Sun Zenith. Oh, right. This is, I love this. So this this card, uh, Golgari Death Swarm. So 4-4 four, four Flying Vigilance for 3 Black Green. Uh, so generally speaking, for these playtest cards, they they make them look like the sticker that's stuck to a card of the same sort of color, like the way that they do playtest cards in R&D. And you'll notice, I don't know if you can quite see it, but this one is stuck over a card that is white and blue. Because this is a reference to a very contentious design question oh, yeah. from the Great Designer Search 3, uh, which was... Um, uh, it was basically talking about how... Some black cards have flying and some green cards have vigilance, so why couldn't a uh, four four flying vigilance be green and black? Yeah. When it when it should be or feels like it should be uh a you know, white or blue white. Well the, the uh, question, it was like it was like abilities being secondary or tertiary yeah, and different it was colors. A and, really poorly worded question. It was a weird one. And it led to a lot of online debate. And so it was the, a neat day on Magic Twitter. Yeah, it was fun times. So anyway, the 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 joke there is that it's uh you know, that particular card there is uh it's a it's a green black card over a chuck. Or maybe you want to keep I, bone saws oh right man, now. I, I feel like that is less. It's like those those abilities are tertiary to those colors, and more that it's like it's the the bad part is not that vigilance is like tertiary to green, and uh, tie, what? flying is is tertiary to, to uh, black. It's that flying is very not common in green. 
right? So it's like it's not that. Yes, it's, it's vigilance. That, is, it's that the other color can't do that. Thing. Vigilance doesn't show up in black, and flying doesn't show up in green, with exceptions. Uh, and so it was like. So it's not that it, the other, like one color could do it. It's that the other color shouldn't do it. Yeah, exactly. That was the that was the that was the issue. Why do I have so many ethereal absolutions? Oh, I see, because I have two of the ores of guild pack things. So that's why I have two copies of <clears throat> Smothering Tithe. Yes. Tithe goes for a couple bucks, hey? Probably. It's worth a pretty penny. Yeah. Should probably pull aside one of these, one of each of these signets, and one of each of these Karoo lands. Hey. Yes. Yeah, it's we've nice we've started doing that for you. Okay. In some cases, you. yeah. Ooh, Mulder but Rofa. yeah, you put those cards in commander decks. So, turns out they go in decks. It's true. What are the Karoo lands? Return another land <laughs> from played from the battlefield to your hand when this comes into play. So like, um, is it Boilerworks? That cycle? Named for the fact that you go, Karoo! When you come to play. <laughs> There's another cycle that's less well known from Visions, the white one of which is called Karoo. Yeah, K A R O O. Yeah. And which I assume is some sort of place name. Yeah. So it's Karoo enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, sacrifice unless you turn untapped planes, you can untapped planes. Right. So it's yeah. worse. Yeah. Uh, but you add colorless and white. So they just, for some reason, they're just all called Karoo lands, even though there's others. Was the I white mean, one the one that was mostly played in that original cycle? No idea. I haven't seen anyone play any of that original cycle ever. It's more secret layer cards. I yeah, just call them bounce lands. Leave. Yeah, oh, they're just, just bounce me. lands. Japanese Strixhaven. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I definitely have some of uh, the uh, Mystical Archive <clears throat> ones there, of both kinds. I have the North American-style Mystical Archive in Japanese and the Japanese Mystical Archive, which, for some reason, are distinct things. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Oh, yes, Damping Sphere. I remember discussing that one. Noted super fun commander card. <laughs> Only the best of friends from the Damping Sphere deck. Oh, right. That was... Uh, Again, not dampening. That was Surge's deck, yeah. Damping. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody remembers... It just makes, it just, it just, it just makes things damp. It Everything makes things damp. Everything gets damp, yeah. You're damp now, and so are you. Mutavolt. Oh, fun. That's a good one. You're like the only person that didn't sell this Mutavolt at that GP. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, no, this is 2018. 2018. Yeah, yeah, that was five years ago. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wasn't that at the... Uh, no. I mean, 2018 was five years ago, whether or not that's where you're going with this story. Is that a reissue of that promo? Because it's possible they brought it back for something. Mm, me. Why was it like going for some particular? Oh, I just remember dealers were buying it for like thirty bucks a pop or something. Jeez. Going for enough that you wanted to sell it. You would just ship, yeah. yeah. Huh. <clears throat> there was just one GP, that one GP in Vancouver, where every dealer just wanted as many mutavolts as possible. Mm. Interesting. Oh, I see. So, Pharmacist Judge points out the other cards in the cycle with Karoo are Coral Atoll, Dormant Volcano, Jungle Basin, Everglades. And Karoo. So I think it's simply a case of it's the easiest to just say the Karoo lands rather playing than. Playing any Everglades in your deck? Mm. Uh, no, but I have a couple yeah. Jungle Basin lands. Fewest syllables wins. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Basin lands would have been good. I don't, just I just got some Basin lands. I don't mind Basin lands. Atoll lands. That could work. It's not bad. Just atoll is like kind of just doesn't really roll off the tongue. Oh man, etched foil villainous wealth. 
nice. Hell yeah. Love villainous wealth. I don't know if Cameron's still watching, but... There it is in all its villainous glory. The way that you just <laughs> moved Wheeler, it seemed like you were going like, <laughs> and just chucking oh. stuff in the bin. Oh, it was man. just kind of funny. It was like, oh, from, hopefully no one will notice. From the do not throw away. out pile, it's just like, yeah, also young Nelly had a deck that was built around this card. Where yeah. you just like oh, wanted to, Gorgon. where you wanted to pestilence all your opponent's creatures. Yeah. Cameron says, it, it is my contention that it is dank. Uh, agreed. Uh as a as oh right doom gate. Sorry, what's up? I was going to say, speaking of pestilence, as a kid playing Magic for the first for, for you know the first go around playing Magic, my pestilence deck was like one of my first introductions to the idea that you can make a deck that is good, but nobody wants to play you because it's just, yeah. <laughs> it's just impressive. It's also miserable. Yeah. Yeah, and so it's like hmm. This is an extremely effective deck that is pointless because nobody will play it. Right. Do you need some bump in the night? <laughs> oh, no. Maybe just one or two? Hundred? I'm definitely keeping this Demir Aqueduct in particular because it has a day two stamp on it, and that stamp is a sheep. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's we dope. We have an altered Reese the Redeemed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Altered. That was... Yeah. Cool. Oh. That was uh, the first commander deck I ever made. Wow. I just went on Gatherer, because of course Scryfall didn't exist, and looked for every card that was uh, green and white. Not just green or white, green and white. I think I remember this story. Yeah, that was it. That's the story. And yeah. So. Well, but but then you had a bunch of the you had some of the stuff that like if it's a green card do this, if it's a white card do this. So you got like both the staffs of that. Oh, no. Some of those, yeah. Uh, uh, like Behemoth Sledge, and there's another one. Does that? Uh oh, what? Oh, oh no! Scare a Camlander player. Oh. Ah! Get it away, get Go it away. Uh, and That's that legal in uh, Alter. Commander, right? You could play it in Commander. It board. is. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. I mean, you might have a hard you time playing friends. more Commander if you do that. That's but. right, yeah. You could put it in a deck. Maybe not as your Commander. Uh, I also have a Sigarda. Um, who's, uh, I think, who's currently commanding that deck. But... Um, uh, yeah, I, the Sigarda is actually also altered by Marshall. Nice. Cause just, oh, Ben Wheeler? He's, for some reason, he can't be content being good at podcasting and watch repair and basketball. He also has to be good at painting magic cards. But the Reese... Um, uh, was... Yes. What? I'm just, no, I'm waiting for you to. Oh yeah. no! It was. I'm trying to remember who altered it. Um. Card Kitty. No. Eric Klug. No. James Turner. <laughs> Definitely not James. Brendan Beach Dairy. Seems unlikely. All right, Graham, when you're done that pile, I have a job for you. Uh-oh. I mean, yes. Yeah. That's why we're here. Beach, if Beach does cult card alters, uh, he doesn't tell you that he's going to do them, and you don't get to choose which <laughs> card. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Oh, Glimmer Baron. Pretty sure he just... Draws big mustaches and everybody. An etched foil forest. That's a weird mm. thing to have. There weren't enough printings <laughs> of forest yet. Ooh, another yeah. bearscape. Yeah. Nice. Bearscape number six. That's the, six. the most important one. Yeah, there's five bearscapes in this pile. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Somebody sent you five bearscapes. <laughs> that's that's a lot of bearscapes. Yeah. All right, what do you need me to do with that pile? Okay, I want you. This is your, like, ship pile. This is your pile that I think. You probably don't need these cards for Commander, 
and they might or definitely are worth something. Okay. So I just want you to so you want me to pull cast, out any cards that you actually want to keep. Okay. Yeah. If there's anything in here that you're like, oh, I need that for Commander to keep cool. it. Now, you might have a duplicate already in this other stack, but I'll take another look. You know. But otherwise, that's your, like, try to ship. Maybe not everything is on the card kingdom buy list, but mm -hmm. it's at least in the... Nelly thought Ed would not want you to throw that in the garbage pile. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> He's just taking out the promo phone and throwing the whole rest of the intro back down. No, I'm looking for cards that are worth more yeah, than a okay. uh, cent. Yeah. <laughs> more than one I kept cent, all the basic huh? lands. Yeah, I'm found. doing that yeah, too. Yeah, okay, yeah. sweet. Those intro pack decks for a while there, was they were real... Real, real rough. Real bad. Real bad. <laughs> the fact yeah. that you both made the same teeth-sucking teeth noise yeah. at the same moment. Ben and I have each sold several of those intro pack decks, knowing that, hey, this is a thing that you can wrap up easily and gift wrap and give to someone. But Do you also, keep... it depreciates worse than everything else in the store when you walk out of it. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to keep this mom uh, PPR deck? Uh, oh, no, that's okay. I want to keep some cards from it. It's had its moment. Oh, too late. Oh, okay, <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. I'll miss you, cards. Sunfall. What did you... Oh, you played five color. Yeah. Right. Kenrith. <clears throat> you know. The returned king? The, the very same. He came back. The very next day. It's back. Oh, a cryptic command. Yeah, I don't know. Is that yeah? Is that a is that a commander card? It could be. I love cryptic and commander. Yeah. Okay, yeah. sweet. Save it. Yeah. Right. You had two invasion of Alaris. Yeah. Right? In your Did PPR I? deck. Mm. Well, there was a oh, foil. Maybe, and a oh, maybe that was from a collector booster pack. There were some funny doubles in that this PPR, weren't there? Up. Didn't somebody have? I just really can't remember. Didn't, honestly, didn't somebody have two Atalis or two monkeys or something? Oh, uh, right. uh, CGB, CGB had Ben had and CGB. Ben and CGB each had a Ragavan. But right, I think okay. CGB had. I think CGB had also had two Atalis. Yeah. Two? Prime, the primal. I th yeah, guy, yeah, I think CGB had two Atalis in his pool. I do not remember that. <laughs> yeah. That's also kind of messed up. Possibly better than two, than having a Ragavan. Uh, one on one is great. Ragavan turned out to be pretty good. Yeah. Which is. <laughs> I mean, Hilarious, right? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> yeah, it's just I don't. There was like ah, it's a one drop, yeah, limited. But often in sealed, you don't care as much about the one drops, even if they're good and standard. Yeah, yeah. Why but that one's an exception. I mean, convokes pretty good. Yeah, that's true. For some reason, there's an awful lot of um, Sarkhan emblems in this pile. What a weird <laughs> thing. Sarkhan emblems wouldn't stop chasing you. Oh, uh, yeah, I thought about reading Colfenor Zern, and then I was like, nah, let's just sell it instead. I mean, okay, notice that, fine. like, I have the sapling of Colfenor deck, which is why I'm keeping oh, it, okay, but fine, it, fine. I don't even think it's very good in I don't, that deck. It doesn't do anything in that deck, right? It just gives everything... Whenever a creature with toughness four or greater on it. Is, dies, you may exile it. At the end of turn, if three or more cards have been exiled with Colfenor Zern, sacrifice it if you do return those cards sure. to play into their owner's control. So it's like, um, Wrath Protection? I guess. Right. Got a Persona 5 deck, or Persona 4 deck box. That's Kathleen's, actually. And uh, the deck in it, I think, is... AFR. Oh, PPR. Okay. Well, maybe? We certainly don't need to keep that deck together. But the, okay. the but box maybe, is Kathleen's. Maybe the banana sleeves need to go back. I, rem I recall her there. liking these sleeves. Or at yeah. least chat liked the sleeves. Mm. Who doesn't All right, like her, the sleeves? Her yeah. craft signals cheese. Yeah, yeah, sleeves. That was, that's the ticket. We did a whole thing about that in um, Friday nights. Craft singles. No, Paul. I mean, it's the day in the day. The day. Oh yeah, the cheese skit with yeah. the sleeves. Yeah. Paul comes in. And, yeah, says that the sleeves look like cheese or whatever the joke was. It was hilarious. Clap. Yeah. I, Laugh. I recall. Uh, Be entertained. During the, you know, during the pandemic when we were doing a lot of remote magic. For whatever reason, in particular, on uh, on like remote um, uh, gameplay camera, they looked like 
giant slices of cheese. Mm -hmm. Good. Good cheese. Good cheese, everybody. Good cheese streamer. Yeah. I'm keeping this M15 Chasm Skulker because no reprint of Chasm Skulker has still included that little note. You can't even see it. That note at the bottom where it says designed by Mikey Newman. Oh, right. Cool. Yeah. M15 was where they had a bunch of... Uh, other <coughs> games designers show up, right? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. cards, yeah. Cool idea. Cool idea. Yeah. They still do it now, but they just don't credit them. Right. At the bottom. <laughs> That sounds about right. Wow, what's it with this run of gods? I don't know, but I just threw that whole pile into the Athreos, cell pile because it was like Karanos, Krufix, and Farika. When we took a look at it, you were like, "This Tempest. was a cell pile," and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> yeah. Farika. Uh, I need a box. I'm out. Give me, give me. I think. I mean, are these piles all sorted already? Are we still with? It's in here. Here, I don't know what that is. Okay. Is there one more? Uh, like, has this been dealt with yet or no? <laughs> what? Oh, this is the okay. homeland stack. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Going. What's this? That's, I think, similar to the cell thing. I think. Okay, I'll take a look. Okay. All right. What about this, like, all sleeved stuff? Is that? Oh, that's this is all, this is all my secret layers. Oh, these are this all is, your secret. Okay. This, this is, is where just been sli well, and a couple other stuff, but this is just. What been about this one? Up. The secret layers that box with full of unsleeved cards. We're not sure? Okay, that's fine. Uh, I don't remember. I think you can pass that over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, take a look at this. What do you what do with these? All those bumps? Put them in the bump pile. We can't throw these out on camera, right? <laughs> like, that's just, no, that's, the wait till we so, came from people in optics, chat. They sent the them here. The optics are so bad if we yeah. throw them out on camera. <laughs> <laughs> just wait till we're... Uh, uh, <laughs> excuse me. We have, somewhere, we have, and by we I mean Loading Ready Run, not me personally, uh, so many yep. Bump in the Nights. We have, yeah, we have a long box of Bump in the Nights, and I believe also a long box of Charging Badgers. Mm. Yes, we didn't ask for the Badgers. They just showed up one day. <laughs> we didn't ask for the Badgers. Mm. So yeah, I guess I'll have to go through a bunch of this to decide what is up I want to keep. Mm. I mean, we could sort it by color here if you want. That's true. I, I guess find that, that helps. That that might be useful actually. I yeah. did that with the keep stuff. So I, I love somebody in the chat is like, "Hey, you should bring those bump of the nights to cons and hand them out to people." Mm. That would, but that that's where we got. <laughs> They'd just give them back. It's true. I guarantee you, they'd be like, oh, thanks. Here, have a bump in the night. Yikes. We did, only... I believe we did briefly uh, affect the price of bump in the night on Card Kingdom. A little oh, bit, yeah. yeah. You could use the pitch stuff for that. That's the problem. Nobody wants that. I've tried at Magic Cons to be like, hey, I've got a bunch of draft chaps. Does anybody want this draft chap? They don't take it. Dealers and don't take it anymore. No, no one, no one wants, them. wants Nobody it. Nobody takes it. Uh, you had a pile of basics over there, hey? Yeah, big there's, pile. There's there one here, too. Oh, okay, great. Consolidate the piles. Oh, foil corrupt cord official. I have, nice. a, I have one Magic card that I collect. Okay. What's um, that? Well, I'll tell you the story. Okay. Uh, one of the bigger stories about it is uh, it's like an SCG in like 2013. Uh, like, it, remember when they used to hold tournaments on the West Coast? Sorry, no. let me. Re okay, remember when they used to. The SCG circuit, when SCG yeah. had a circuit? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I made myself sad. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> me too. Yeah. Congrats. Uh, anyways. They, uh, there's a group of us down there. Where? At, in Tacoma. Okay. This one. Sure. At this, Wait, uh, they actually did West Coast? I thought you were just going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you were just going to make him say the SCG no, circuit. No yeah, yeah. memory of that. Oh, yeah. yeah. They used I to do they, only did, I oh, they only ever did the East Coast. Only like once a year, but oof, were they good. Um, this is a nice token. And a uh, bunch of us are down there to play in the Legacy event, and a couple of people are picking up cards. That we had ordered online previously, mm -hmm. and we go and we're you know first person goes up, hands their little chit to them, and they're like, 
hi, I'm picking up this order. The woman, you know, disappears, comes back, hands some cards, and the person's like, huh? What do you think? And it's like some old bordered foils. So it's like, oh, that's pretty nice. Then the next person picks up a card, comes back, and uh, they're like, oh, what do you think? And it's an English um, copy of the moat, or a copy of moat from Legends. Okay, okay. Which is, you know, it wasn't huge money back then, but still a really cool, like, big card. And then I go up and hand my thing. She comes back. She's laughing to herself. She's like, you must really like this wumpus. <laughs> and, and hands me a stack of, like, 60 thrashing wumpus. Plus my foil Japanese thrashing wumpus. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. Why, why thrashing wumpus? It's such a cool card. It is a cool card. It's also a great name. Yep. Why the math this? checks out. Oh, it's one of the Nephilim. Isn't it? It is. I'm trying to remember which one it is. Uh, it's the Omnath Nephilim. That doesn't help me. Well, the colors of... Okay, yeah, Omnath. It's Aragorn Nephilim. Oh. Um, Nephilim the Uniter. Yeah. I nice. don't know what this one is called. Is it Ink Treader? Let me see. Sorry. Let me see the picture. I think that's Ink Treader, yeah. Okay. Wow. Rashing thumpus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doc. Oh, Ink there we go. Yeah. Ink Treader Nephilim. There you go. 3-3 three, three for uh. 4 in those colors. Whenever a player plays an instant or sorcery, if Ink Treader Nephilim is the only target, copy the spell for each other creature that spell could target. Each copy targets is a one of those creatures. Interesting. Oh, what up, Krim? All right, so how about... What up, Krim? What? Oh, hey. You like the shirt? Turn cold, baby. So we got this box we can use. <clears throat> Um, I'll start organizing this pile that Wheeler gave, or that Nelson gave me by color, I suppose. Okay. Okay, I've got. Yeah, sorry. Well, do you need to? Oh yeah, sorry. If it's like if it's like you're trying to ship it to Card Kingdom or something, you need to you need to sort it by color first or whatever. Uh, yes. no, no, it's, they okay. want it by. Set and no. then by I want to add this to the ship pile. But they also, I don't think Card Kingdom buys all no. this stuff. Foreign language cards. No. Okay. So. So I don't know. Maybe you need to take the like that pile and split it into a like <laughs> drop off at YJ, get as much credit as you can, <coughs> and then just winnow out from that stack which cards Card Kingdom is definitely going to actually buy. Right. Uh, well, one yeah. More pile from the I don't trash. think I don't think it makes sense to spend the rest of the stream sitting here watching me. Flip through individual cards, sure. so but at least maybe, you got your yeah. homework divided into like a oh, few yeah. logical piles. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, oh, I I underestimated the homework, but uh, it's valid, it's correct. I mean, you I mean, just get us to do it. Again. Yeah, you could just cast it. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, because I mean, the homework is deciding what stuff I want to keep. Oh, that part. And what stuff I want to sell out okay. of these piles that you've said. These are the ones that you should either keep or sell. Right. right yeah. Fair yourself. enough. Brownie Point says, Sand One is Dune Brood, Angel Baby is Your Tiller, Stab Hands is Glint Eye, and Vor Worm is Witch Maw. Witch Maw? Checks out. Uh, that one. Checks out. All right. Just keep everything. I mean, honestly, I'm not going to, but keep everything is, goodbye, is uh, already a huge improvement over what it was before. What were you just looking through? Trash. Oh, okay. Don't Just worry about it. a pile of not good. Right. Unless you need to keep... Sinew Dancer. Let me see. Oh, it's, I, I said I liked the showcase once. <laughs> oh, non-foil showcase too? I, yeah, I prefer non-foils because they I don't I mean, I've been bend. keeping the good non-foil okay. showcase. Because they don't bend. Really? Well, you can bend them, <laughs> I suppose, if that's what you're asking. You've got a backup coiling stalker, don't worry. I like the, do you the need fancy. Two? No, I don't need two of them. I, do you like, I like the ones that look different. Yeah. Do you have a keep stack over there too, Wheeler? I got two of them. Okay, sweet. Okay, let me start shipping <clears> these. Here's my. I've sorted these piles by color. And they're like. They're either Graham wants to keep because he needs to keep them, or they're like Monk. good for the collection. Sounds like part of Graham's homework is he went through the trash bin? No. 
Ooh, foil bearscape. Exactly. Anything, anything that. Oh no, I have more green cards. Damn even it. if it's in a, even if it's in a different frame, anything that I like need that would have gone in there is not going to be that expensive. I mean, I'm not getting. So. Yeah, you're. Oh yeah, I sorted these out separately from color because they're not exactly commander cards, but maybe they are. It's like a rule zero thing. There's a right? lot of bad tree folk in here. They feel like commander cards. Yeah. yeah. Oh, if it's a big vein of them, that's probably stuff for the for the tree folk deck. Yeah. 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 Okay, more color files. Wait, why are they coming to me? I just want to. <laughs> I just want to. Oh, you could. They could come back to me instead if you want. You want. I mean, we could keep. We me? could keep making the piles, and yeah, then yeah. we could. <laughs> sure. Well, I just like have all the stuff that Graham's going to keep from this end sort of by color. You know, I was passing all these color all these cards before, so I want to keep doing that. You know, I'm going to give you the cards. You know what yeah. you really need to do after this now? Me? And this is the hard part. Yes, me? you, the okay. viewer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the viewer. The viewer. Yeah, hang on. The viewer or me? You. Okay. Yes, you. Uh huh. Um, is that you don't let this happen again. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, we've gotten this far, uh -huh. so it'll make it a bit easier for it to not get this bad again. But Wheeler, what do I do with my draft decks? <clears throat> so I actually no, have... I've, I've gotten better. You'll notice that there's, that apart from the pre-release kits, yeah. there hasn't actually been huge piles of recent sets. Yeah. Right. Because uh, I don't, when we go to like MagicCon or whatever, I deal with it before I come home. Smart. <laughs> nice. I'm like, I bring home, like, where's the, th this box? Yeah. This is, this is everything that, I mean, it was everything that I brought home from uh, Minneapolis. Oh, nice. Actually, everything that I think. And you opened and like two booster boxes. Okay, between the two of you, you would have opened like three there or four booster boxes. There was a lot of stuff. Boxes, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. So. Who's the next guest? Well, we've done my cards. We've done Alex's cards, right? We should probably do Sur actually Surge's cards already. We did Surge's cards. You did Surge. Oh, we did, did all the cards already? Yeah. Right, right. Okay, fair enough. I missed that day. Uh, <laughs> my cards are already all written. And I, it's lost. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Go on, keep going. It's too late for me now. Um, I have a box of M10 that uh, has probably like two good things in it. Mm. Hey, what do you what color wise? How do you sort these deans? Uh, front. Yeah, I just do the front. Or you can put them in the gold if you want. That sounds like no. That's a grand the question. <laughs> that sounds like Lurbot advice. Sort the deans. Yeah, That's right. Where yeah. You, where do I put these deans? They go in the square in hole. The front. <laughs> the deans go in the square hole. Here, uh, do you want to give me a pile of stuff that's for keep? That's unsorted. I mean, it's keep or sale at this point. Like I, have, I sure. Not... I just don't want to mix the two up. Yeah. Or is it kind of the same? It's for now. It's the same. Oh, all right. Okay. I haven't. I pulled out some stuff, but I've realized I can't. I'm going to need a little bit more time than like decide now before Wheeler puts it in the garbage bin. All right. All right. Uh, Fair enough. <laughs> God, <laughs> it's just here. It's right here. We should really put. Let's leave That's the wrong <clears throat> pile. This is On like a, this is like a secret layer card. I don't know. It's just like an expedition spire garden. Right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's this is the uh, the these ones. It's like twenty. Oh, that's another good thing. What dollar amount do you want to sleeve above? Like, I double sleeve in my collection anything over forty dollars US. Hmm. Would you? Are you planning on doing the same, or something similar? I mean, what I so I I, I bought all these. Yeah. Because what I want to do is get to a point where it's j <clears throat> just. The, the stuff that I have is in this so that I can actually build a commander deck. Yeah. Because, like, right now, like, we were going to build a... Uh, we were going to build a commander... We were going to do commander a, a while ago, a couple weeks ago or something, and uh, I was excited to build a deck. And then um, uh, just... It was like, oh, wait. No, I can't, and it's awful, because this, this was the state of my stuff. Mm -hmm. Um... So what I'd like to be able to do is go like, oh yes, a commander deck with these cards, and just put them put them together, right? right. Um, that didn't really answer your question. Uh, <laughs> That's fine. I forgot what it was. Great. It's tough to know what to do with your magic cards. I sympathize. Thank you. 
We can always throw them out. Yep, <laughs> throwing them out's great. Then you don't have them anymore. You don't have to worry about where they are. You know, you make a compelling argument. Having said that, I do think about that. Like, what if I just sold every card I owned? Right. And then every time you need a card, you know you have to go buy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just start from scratch. Yeah. No, I I daydream about that. <laughs> We're gonna come away from tonight's thing and be like, wait, yeah, hang on, and everyone goes home and sells their collection and. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there it upsets is, the economy somehow. That's right. There is an interesting aspect, uh, you know, that we've dealt with here at Loading Ready Run, not just with magic cards, but with, or with lots of stuff. You know, we've got all our props and costumes and all this kind of stuff, right? And there is that aspect where it's like, the at at a certain point, the storage cost for something exceeds the cost that it would take to just buy it again if you really need it. Yeah, or uh, or and, even sooner, it exceeds like the value of that thing for you, right? Yeah, yeah, and trying to sort of evaluate, you know, you don't have infinite storage space, and so it's trying to like evaluate, like, is this a thing? It's like, yeah, I could definitely, you know, and you do have to come to come to terms with the idea that it's like, yes, you will throw out things that you later find that you want, and you have to go buy it again, but that's okay. That's just a tax you pay. Yeah, yeah, that's true. that's worth the price. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you yeah. can choose your tax, right? Do you want to have the harsh tax of holding on to all of your cards, or do you want to have the relatively smaller tax of just buying magic cards? In my head, I once. always kind of had this thought, especially when it was lending cards to people, mm. where like, you know, I'm probably going to lose maybe like fifty to a hundred dollars worth of cards a year of just cards from, that like, people don't bring back. I lend them to people; and they forget. We both it forget or about just it. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Um, Accidentally stealing Wheeler's cards. But I think I've I'm okay there. with that. That's like a you know, it, that's a reasonable cost to pay for what you get from it. You, you mean, know what I mean? You mean like what do you what do well, you get from people? Oh, I see. Okay, great. Okay, good. What do yeah, you sorry. get from it? Jesus. Sorry, I'm so confused. No, I had something else. over here. <laughs> well, I mean, when we were when we were going through the prop room, because you know, because we're moving, mm. right? And we were going through the prop room, and it's like, you know, sure, like a a white dress shirt that also doesn't fit like half the people, because uh, we no, I mean, we need bigger we, shirts. We, yeah, we we we, uh, we bought it of, when I wore a medium. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the props yes. are like more than ten years old, and a lot of the costumes, and uh, yeah, yeah, so it doesn't really fit a Don't lot take of us anymore. Smacking away from. <sighs> anyway, the point being, uh, and it's like we can't blame the pandemic for that one, <laughs> no. as much as we'd like to. Yeah, and if uh, um, you know, it's like if if we need to get this again, or like a high vis vest or something, it's like okay, you know, if we need to get this again, we can get this again. But then there's some props in there that it's like. I have no earthly idea where we would ever find something like this again if we need it. Well, better keep it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember, I don't know if we, I think we probably still have it, the Tux that we have, mm -hmm. which was acquired uh, from Value Village. The different parts of the Tux had been filed into their different, you know, it was in the pants and in the jacket and the white shirts. Yeah. Uh, and we were like, hey, wait a minute. Is this all the same tux? Mm -hmm. And I think somebody else had grabbed the shirt. And we're like, dude, we've got the jacket. We've got the pants. Do you really just want like a frilly white shirt? Come on, man. <laughs> the Seinfeld references are only going to carry you so far. <laughs> yeah. It was good. It was a good it's a good And it's tux. like, a, it's you know, those like... Uh, Rental tux pants that are like adjustable on the side. Mm hmm. Yeah. Now, as Cameron says, now we have the set bonus. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But we can only have one person in a tux at a time. <laughs> a lot of jump cuts. Yeah, yeah. I have to split screen it. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, we did. I like that we did that. <coughs> um, uh, that crap shot. Um, it was a, it was one of the crap shoot episodes that we did at Moonbase Three, um, where it, we had a, uh, a uh, like a group, like a creepy 
like a cult, like a creepy hooded cabal of people. Right. Um, and we have one really nice cloak. Okay. <laughs> so we just green screened it. Nice. So that there's like six or seven people in the shot all wearing the same cloak, but you can't you can't tell that it's just. I think it was even just the same person standing at different spots because they're just silent and in the background. And uh, yeah, it worked out worked out just fine. That was the. Um, uh, here's some deep, uh, deep lore. That uh, cloak, would, part of the reason that it's it's such good quality, uh, Tally made it. Oh wow! Years ago, for uh, Jeremy, Jer right? Jer Petter to wear as a uh, costume of he was cosplaying. Uh, as Anakin Skywalker nice. uh, at the I guess it would have been the second episode prequel? 2 episode 2 Clone Wars and he had the little little rat tail aww yeah adorable the uh yeah the whatever you, the, the initiate braid or whatever you're supposed yeah. to have yeah yeah you're right yeah, you okay? Street yeah, Fighter yeah, plus know, sorting right? magic cards for three hours? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> hands ain't what they used to be. I don't know, Braid. Yeah, exactly. So I'm still here. <sighs> what I'm thinking of is where Graham flies in and is at the wrong secret meeting. Yes, that's the one. It was the, yeah, it's the joke about like, it's like, oh no, no, we're not the, we're not the, the, the creepy shadow organization uh, making sure daylight savings doesn't go away. We're the, Creepy shadow organization doing, I don't know, some other conspiracy theory. You know, like, oh, well, sorry, I thought we had this room at two. <laughs> Whatever it was. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah. Like the sounds of that crap shot. Is that, oh, that's, there's the crap shoot for it. I do, nice. as people have said frequently that they miss the crap shoot. So do we. Like, I, I like it. I, I, I loved doing the crap shoot. Just, uh, you know. What a pain! <laughs> Just a time, a big, big time sink, unfortunately. Yep. So. Okay, so all the cards are still alive on the table. We're just gonna color sort and put them back into this, this blue box. This is all or what? color sorted. Okay, yeah. this is all color sorted Great. twice, but yeah. Is that all color sorted? Yeah. Yes. Great. So we could stack them up. Yeah. Cool. Let's get and weight. Then, then get the get the accelerant. Yeah. Yeah. And then we do need an ignition source. Right. If, um, if, if if watching old CSI reruns has taught me anything, I got a lighter. Great, perfect. Uh, and then we're fine. Blue cards, please. Blue cards. Oh, let's get this in a sleeve. It's a secret layer sliver. Right. No, I, there, I, there was other ones that I did not. Ah, whatever. See, but I appreciate it. Uh, black cards, please. Black cards. I have those. These ones are. Oh, this is just a mess. Oh. I'll go through this later. I will, though. I mean, we could do it. Oh, it's a mass mess. Well, no, this is stuff that I pulled out of that pile, but we're not doing it that way now. Uh, and so it's just sort of all over the spot. Red cards. Please. Red cards. It's just a work in progress. It's okay. Exactly. It's there, can, there can be an unsorted section. Green cards, please. The, the crapshoot being good and the crapshoot not being worth the production effort can both be true. Yeah, it's just... It was, you know, it was several hours out of the, out of the Friday. Also, a problem also uh, was that, and this is especially true after we moved here, is that it just sort of meant that Take like that. all of our crap shots were uh, um, things that could be things shot that, in like half an things hour. Things that could be shot in half an hour inside this office. Yeah. So, so. which uh, artifacts? That was fun. Uh, uh, that was a super fun one, Kite. When we went to, was it Con Bravo? I thought we did that at PAX. I guess it was Con Bravo, where we did we did a crap shoot at the Loading Ready Run panel, and it was we opened the panel, said hi, and we're like, all right, we're writing a crap shot, and we wrote it in like the first like ten fifteen minutes, like with the audience uh, yeah. feedback, and then uh, shipped that. Um, uh, script back to the people that didn't go to the con who were at the moon base mm -hmm. who filmed it 
Nice. <laughs> and edited it <laughs> and sent it back <laughs> during the panel before the end of the panel. Oh wow, nice. Yeah. That was the one with Basics. uh James and Corey with progressively larger mustaches. Nice. Was it? I think I don't remember cuz I think work. Kate was in it. Perfect. I don't remember which one it was. I do like the impressively larger mustache. That had to be stressful. Ah! Uh, it wasn't, I don't know. It wasn't as stressful for us at the show because we, 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 we weren't the ones that had to make the, yeah, make these, the thing. These emblems maybe we should sell. I don't know if the base wants to keep these emblems. Yeah, I think we did that And then, like, like I don't know twice, if there's maybe. any of these tokens that you wanted to like keep for your personal collection or if they should just all stay at the office. Grant, yeah, no? yeah, we did, it, uh, we did that one a couple tokens. times. And we also wrote a few at cons that were then going to be shot later. Yeah, we some did that. Of, some of which were not actually possible to shoot. <laughs> oh, these are dividers for the, the audience box, was, that shall we say, over ambitious. Uh, we could probably pop these into yeah. a secret layer box. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, sure. Oh, right. Sorry, I have this little pile that is. <clears throat> I just figured you should keep these tokens because they're signed. Oh yeah. And then I don't know that fairy token's kind of unique, and then that was just a card of Kathleen, so I want to keep yep. it separate. Cool. Oh right, and I'll also this was supposed to be like part of the cell pile. It's just that whole deck. Also, I have whole decks that we didn't take apart. That's that are part cool. of the heat pile. Good, sweet. And these are empty boxes except for sleeves. What is this? Switch even do? No, there's no way that it was the switch. The switch one we we, we filmed at a uh, at a different time. That that was written at a. Uh... That one was written at a convention. Yeah. Yes, which is part of probably part of the reason that it got so out of hand. <laughs> yes, and also the reason why. Like I remember, the, there's you know the 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 ones written at conventions for those of us who weren't necessarily at the convention would be like, okay, explain this to us. <laughs> we we don't quite understand what's happening, and often that cannot be explained. Yep. Still another crap shot with Bonathan. Mm. Oh yeah, the flying F skull. Should bring Bonathan back at some point. I don't know why. I don't know for what purpose, but yeah. Bonathan? Uh, yeah, the flying F skull. Uh, he, there was a crap shot where he just... He uh, shows up and just starts screaming continuous enthusiastic consent. <laughs> and Like the, those words? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And the thing is, the people in the scene are just like, Oh! It's Bonathan, the flying Epsco. Like, it's a normal ass thing. Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay. Maybe we'll just have tea and cuddle then. <laughs> oh. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So, do, does that feel like we're. Feels like we're done, I guess. Well, how, I mean, yeah, unless you have lot another. Of empty boxes. Yeah, we did yeah. some stuff. And... Rich says, I'm happy about that, let me tell you. Yeah. You have so many places to put magic cards now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like also the magic cards that right you want are in a small number of places. So these deck boxes aren't a bad thing to donate if you want to yeah. donate because kids might not have those or, or they're just using. That's like, true. I've got a bunch back here. They're as just well. using weird like pre-release yeah. kit. These are all yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why did hmm. I put? Oh, that's the. Yeah, that's a deck you're keeping. Okay, cool. You see too this many is kids. like decks that are full of cards. Yeah, like these are decks. Yeah. You see too many kids with, their, empty with their decks just uh, okay. wrapped up in like a handkerchief attached to a stick that they have to put over their shoulder. A bindle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the elastic band bindle. Yeah. They got rid of fat packs. They called them bundles. <laughs> then they turned into bindles. There was some confusion. Not everyone could spell great. Yeah. So now, yeah. I forgot about these uh, life counters. Oh yeah, oh. they came in the three D tokens box or whatever, right? Or is that how, did, how does that work? Uh, it's, so a, it's, it's a it's dial. Got two little. Oh, it's got two little. You can barely see them. Two little oh. wheels. Uh, uh, oh my God. Uh, and we came in so many life. Is that for your commander up in the top uh, corner? Where it says zero. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I nice. don't know what that is. There you go. Commander tax. Maybe that is or whatever poison. You want. Maybe I guess it could be whatever you want. Experience counters. Uh, and then there's you've got one with a pirate on it for some reason. Oh. Yep, don't know why. Yar me says it as menace. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's supposed to be power, toughness, and how many you have. 
Oh, if yeah. there's a pirate on here. Or a oh, plus one plus yeah. one counter. Yeah, that could be Th it. That's a 3D token, right? Like, that's, like, from the... I don't know, dude. The same creation. I did not buy these. No, I didn't buy these either. I don't know how I got them. I don't think many people bought them. Not many people they're bought kinda, them. They kind of suck. Yeah. <laughs> it's a kinda, kinda, it's a pretty disappointing product. Was this, not, was this not also just a life counter? I guess you could use this to be like, I have... Hang on. I like, have... Three, three yeah. Vraska pirates, two yeah. pirates with no, a menace. It was supposed to be a life counter, like it was life and then commander tax. The yeah, why is there okay. a pirate there? No, know. no, the pirate why is a token creature. <laughs> but what? Does and you can adjust their power toughness I mean, and these, how many you have. These could be two separate things that ultimately are designed the exact same way. Yeah. Where like this is life total plus poison, and then they're like, oh, we already know how to make this. What if we put pirate on it? It's just uh -huh. so weird to me that they figured out how to include tokens in the packs, and then they were like, oh, people love these tokens. Let's make another thing. Mm -hmm. And then, like, shamefully, you had to buy these packs separate. Like, you'd get, like, two or three in a, like, blind box. Yeah. That's stupid. Yeah, it was kind of Why would upper... No, this can't be for commander damage, because commander damage goes into double digits. So this is Commander Tax. I think it was for... Yeah, sorry. Someone uh Temple server said it was com Commander Damage. I think it's for Commander Tax. Why? Is the idea? Why? Is there a pirate? I don't know. And this more importantly, why does, it, why does the life counter have menace? I don't know. Anyway. It's because that's a 3D token, not a life counter. That's okay. what I'm saying. This, this is the worst Abbott and Costello bit <laughs> I've ever been involved in. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I guess that's it then. Patreon.com forward slash loading ready run is on first. <laughs> Great. And uh, cardkingdom.com slash LRR is on second. No, store.loadingreadyrun.com is on second. YouTube oh. Super Thanks is definitely shoot shortstop. <laughs> is the PPR the umpire? Sure. Mm. Hey, yeah, uh, we got a PPR coming up. Uh, if you're watching this live, the PPR is coming up on this very internet channel. Uh, live on Saturday, June 10th. If you are watching this on the YouTube, then it is coming soon to the YouTube, probably on the, we'll say June 12th, probably. Um, so, you know, you still get to see it even if you don't go to Twitch. But yeah, check it out. It's going to be Lord of the Rings. And I don't want to tell you anything, so I won't. Goodbye. No, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil anything, but um, some people have, for purposes of recording edited content, opened their uh, pre-release kits. And uh, this set looks sweet. This set looks so fun. It's gonna be a fun time. Tune in. It's, I'm not. You. You're a lot more uh, invested in Lord of the Rings than I am. And even I'm like, this is so cool. This is flavorful. This is great. It's a lot to put on me. I read those books a lot when I was a kid. But, yeah. You know. I read them maybe once. I don't remember. I've I'll, had a I'll... lot of concussions and weed since then, so I don't remember anything. I mean, there's a couple of horses. I could tell you that. Yeah. You want to know about the horses? I do. Great. So there's Bill the Pony. Uh, when the ponies at that pub get in... cut off, like when they get they get let out. Right. And uh, in, then in like Bree is this in Bree? Yeah. Okay. That was a um, guess. Then they're like, "Oh, we need a pony," and then there's a guy. <laughs> Who's named Bill? Who sells them? The pony named Bill, and there's like very there's a couple of sentences that are just spent to be like oh, Bill is just just an old pony. <laughs> it's really depressing. Yeah. Okay. He's their um, good friend, and they have to leave him outside the gates of Moria, but they they hope that he'll get back home safe. Well, they push him into the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't come that far. <laughs> uh, and anyway. then there's another horse, though. There, yeah, there's Shadow Facts. Very fast horse. The Makes horse haste. Lord. Yeah, love that. Anyway, um, this was this was this was fun and cathartic. Uh, I'm going to look in that bin. No, I'm not going to. No, I'm not, I'm not going to riffle through it. I'm going to peer into it and uh, oh, don't do feel something. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. No, with my with my emotions. Not. I'm not going to touch it. Don't worry. Do we? Do you want? Do you want to show Ben? Do you want to show Ben? Hold, hold this. Just, hold, hold just, ben? just lift it up okay. for a bit. You know, do you want help? Yeah. Are people that is hurting? how much lighter you are going to feel? Oh my god. There you god. go. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, Trefo Cumber. Wait. <laughs> you should show Ben. What the? How people do we? See? Can we show Ben? Oh my god! It's half full. Incredible. There you go. Wow. You, to be fair, it wasn't empty before we started. But yeah, it was empty. Feels good though. It was Feels empty-ish, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, that was it.
Um, I'll keep you posted on how this goes. Uh, but until then, I've been Graham, uh, joined by Nelson. I was here. And Wheeler. Thank you for having me, Graham. It was great to be here. Oh, thank God. It's been an hour and a half, and I you didn't say it at the beginning. I had I didn't say it on AFK. I think I just went huh or something. I had someone DM me, be like, "Are you okay? okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they checked, all right? Oh, no. Somebody checked in Are on you me. trying to communicate so with us. Yeah, it was yeah. very, so it was very sweet. Uh, Paul has been here. Hello. And thank you all for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.